So I guess by law, I got to ask everybody, do I have your permission to record you? And you can turn your mics on, uh, Mark uh, Miller's. Uh, yes, you do. Do I have your permission? I mean, in the state of Colorado, I actually don't need your permission. But if you happen to share it in your state and your state is not one of those ones that and I just want to do everything decently and in order. So I said, okay, I got to get everybody's permission. Um, I'm going to open this up in prayer and then I'm going to start on some um, some house uh, cleaning things and then I'm going to turn it over to Fred. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Man. <laughs> Dear Lord, we just thank you for bringing us here together. We thank you for the opportunity to uh, Bible study on today. Lord, I just ask every mind to be open, every heart will be unhardened, that we will be recipients of your word, regardless to the one giving the word. Jesus. Holy thy name, O oh Lord God. I come against every spirit of confusion, every spirit of combatant, Jesus. and every spirit of resisting and rejection in the name of Jesus. And I thank you that your will will be done today. We submit to your way, your will, and your lordship and how you desire to. I thank you that the ground is prepared to receive you today. Man. And I do praise you. Jesus. Uh, hold on here. Okay. Sure. Um, I'm actually going to play a song first though. Um, so hopefully everybody has their mics on. What's in your will? Isla Paris. What's in your plan? That is correct. No, actually, so it's Eve. Oh, Eve. the original. Oh, no, yeah, it is Eve. Right. Right. <clears throat> Never forget it for long. Lord, what you do could not be wrong. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
song touched me in my quiet time because it, it broke down a lot of things that we encounter on the everyday everyday life we question the lord and and and, and her, the point of the song is well i trust you even in my case, i don't understand well i trust you basically in spite of me in spite of how i feel in spite of what i see do I trust you? And I was like, oh boy, this is so um so on point today. So on point today. Few things. One, I need, I guess I need to remind everyone again that links are not sent individually anymore. It was taxing on me. So I decided to do it via group tech. I also added to my Facebook. I also added to my Instagram. And I also added to my TikTok. Not everybody is on all those things. That's why the group text also is there for everyone. I forgot somebody this week. And when I realized it, I asked them, I said, do you want a link? I am so sorry I did not miss. I don't know who is making all that noise. Thank you. And I sent them the link and I apologize. They said, yes, please send me the link. And so I sent them the link. So I, I do apologize for that oversight. It was not intentional whatsoever. Um, but links are sent via group and then those other um, platforms as well. So if you have access to me that way, you have that as well. You have that as well. They're not being sent individually. Secondly, Apostle Miller and Brother Miller, last week, you guys mentioned some things, and I, I was just like in awe. <laughs> um, Pastor Miller thought that he offended, and, and I got to tell you, sir, you did not offend whatsoever when you mentioned about not playing church. And if anybody was offended by that, they need to check themselves. Apostle Miller, you mentioned counterfeit, right? And I was like, I was stirred. That stirred me, ma'am. That stirred me. One of the things, the purpose of this Bible study too, the Lord wanted me to share, is for provoking, is for staring, is for exposing, is for renewing, is for reproof, is for resuscitation. Things that we have let die, the Lord is desiring to give life to again. Okay. Hmm restoring edification exhorting correction rebuke i gotta tell you something guys i love you you have no idea how much i love you 
I love you. I love you. And the Lord loves you. But when he comes to you in a particular way, that you may deem by the messenger is an attack on you. Believe me, I'm not attacking you because my desire is to mind my own business. My desire is to get some sleep at night since he returned it to me. So you wanna attack the messenger instead of evaluating the word. Instead of examining the word that is given to you, whether it's collectively or individually. The Bible tells us to do that, actually. You get something that you might not understand, or you get something that may offend your flesh. Ask the Lord, you know what, Lord, um, you know, I don't like what so-and-so said. Is there truth to it? One, two, was it you? Three, show me in your word. And I guarantee you, if it's from him, he gonna show it to you. He's gonna expose it to you. Now, what you do with that is up to you. Another thing which I forgot to say about housekeeping, and Fred, you will, you, you will go forth, believe me. If you have questions, there's a little hand on the bottom of your screen. Raise that. That is how we, you know, we share. You use the hand, raise the hand. If you got a question, raise the hand. I'll pitch you in queue. If there's more than one hand, raise at one time. So I had to look up the word counterfeit because this was deep. I said, Lord, what the, what the, what the, what? Made to exact imitation of something valuable with the intentions of deceive or defraud. Cinnamon, cinnamons, and I'm, I don't know why I can't say that right, is fake, faked, copy, forged, simulated, scam, bogus imitation substitute dummy right the noun of the word is a fraudulent imitation of something else you stirred me with that ma'am you stirred me because you know why there are many counterfeits in the body of christ with man-made doctrine and doctrines of double. And let me tell you the dangerous part about it is that it looks and acts like truth. Sounds like it. Sounds good. It sounds revelatory. Woo! You, you see people getting quaking and shaking and falling out. With the spirit of confusion all over it. But with no sound season discernment, you fall prey. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, Millers, for sharing it. Because I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Scripture tells us that there are many false doctrines. And I'm saying, Lord, take the veil off of our eyes. We are mixed fellowship. We are in various stages of our Christian development. We are in various degrees of maturity. We are in various ground conditions. What do I mean by that? The Bible talks about four grounds, Matthew 13, 3 to 19. We got the wayside ground. We got the stony places ground. We got the thorns ground. And then we got the good ground, even in the midst of us right now. I said a bold statement last week. I said, everybody on this here needs deliverance. And you know what? I felt a whole lot of offense. People got offended by that. 
And you got to ask yourself, why would a statement like that offend you? Because I'm not uh, fornicating or I'm not committing adultery. Well, let me share you, tell you what the Lord told me to tell them the spirit of control, <clears throat> the spirit of slowfulness, the spirit of jealousy, the spirit of excuses. We are so full of them. Mixture, procrastination, excessiveness, so wasteful, busybody, offense, distraction, compromise, humanism. In the simplest form, he says, I'm only human. You know the people that say, well, I'm only human as their excuse. I'm only human as if doing you is the right way. Impatience, inferiority, pride, discord, deception, unforgiveness, and this got me, a religious spirit. Unnatural sensitivity, jealousy, competition. I'm sure the list goes on, but this is what he's given me thus far. Since we're not murderers, right because we're not out here physically killing people but are you jealous of your brother and sister in christ do you have unforgiveness are you battling jealousy are you constantly slowful can't be on top for nothing and you know it's the spirit when you get up on time you, you set that clock on time. You set it early. And yet you enter the destination or wherever you're going late. Can't get up on time for the Lord. Excuses. Well, you know, here, I'm going to use this as an example. And I'm not trying to offend nobody. And I told you I love you. Whether you believe it or not, I do. The challenge. No television for seven days. Something so simple. One person said, well, I didn't watch it during the day. One person said, I had it on for somebody else. One person says, well, I was going to watch a bi bi Bible, the Bible on television which is all fine and good and something you do on a daily basis, but you could not set aside seven days just to hear your father clearly. But the challenge came from her, Lord. Should it matter? Who the challenge came from? I love you. I absolutely love you. You know what else is dangerous? Is when people know your past, they know how you grew up. That's why Christ said he can only do so little amongst his own people. He could only heal but a few sick folk amongst the people he knew. Why do you think that? Oh, because he was just a carpenter's son. He's Joseph and Mary's child. We know you. He didn't stay long amongst his folk. We're so worried and we're looking at the messenger and dropping the message. Compromise. And I'm going to say this about spouses because you know, 
<laughs> that's that's a tricky thing because ministry starts in the house right so we compromise you know amongst ourselves well you know well if my husband doesn't do it then i'm not going to do it or if my wife doesn't do it then i'm not going to do it i got something to tell you people because when you stand before the lord it's not going to be couples time if your husband don't get up and pray that's on him if your wife don't get up and pray that's on her what about your soul? What about your communing with your father, your creator? Spirit of laziness, ridiculous. He said last month, no more mixture. He is not accepting no more mixture. I think it went over some of our heads. Well, what you talking about mixture? Look it up. <laughs> As hand joining hands, Proverbs 16, 5. I need somebody to find it and read it. Please and thank you. To start? Uh, yes, sir. If you have it, go ahead and read it, please. And if you have it in Amplified, that'd be great, which I know you probably do. <laughs> Everyone who is proud and arrogant in heart is disgusting and exceedingly offensive to the Lord. Be assured he will not go unpunished. Now, can somebody read that in the King James Version? Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand joined in hand, he shall not be unpunished. Thank you, sir. That's right. You do have all the yes, <laughs> you just say you have like 50 in translation. Though hand join in. You know what that means? <laughs> You're coming in agreement with. You're coming in league with. And you just got to say, why would anybody be offended by being delivered or the or the thought of needing deliverance? Why would that offend anybody? Let me tell you, it came to me first. I'm not giving you something that hasn't come to me first. Just this week, the Lord delivered me from the spirit of disassociation. Forgot all about it. And it's subordinates. I'm not above deliverance. I asked somebody this week, I said, listen here, have you been delivered from a lying spirit? An adult, they asked me, well, what is lying? I'm like, are you for real? <clears throat> so we want to play games. So then they said, well, I want to be delivered. I said, cool, bet. What do you need to be delivered from? They said uh, sexual immorality. I was like, okay, what sexual immorality? See, the things with demons is demons don't got to come out if you don't address them. They got names. You want to play games? They don't need to come out. Just like you calling somebody out their name. Well, if someone called me Caroline, because that ain't my name, you think they're going to get my attention? They absolutely will not. Because until you address me by my given name, you don't have my attention. Sexual immorality. I said, well, what sexual immorality? Sexual immorality. So I said, listen here. When you are serious about deliverance, I am here for you because deliverance is not something to play with. Well, I want to be delivered. I want to be delivered. What do you want to be delivered from? Same thing. 
I said I had to shut it down. I said I had to stop the conversation because I knew it wasn't going. It was unfruitful and was going nowhere because the person didn't want to hear it. And then you know what? We're throwing out fleeces. Well, God, if 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 it, if it's this, if it's you, let me throw out this fleece. Let them come to me. Let them come to me. Let them come to me. It ain't no season for fleece. It's a season for faith. Mm -hmm. You want deliverance? You seek it. Sit on your butt thinking it's supposed to come to you. You want a breakthrough? You seek it. I'm coming to you like this. I love you. I love each and every one of you. It's so deep. The gospel says, if your eye offend you, pluck it out. <laughs> Is that something you have to do? If your arm offend you, cut it off. Is that something that you have to do? No, but we throwing out spiritual fleeces because because we want people to come to us. Well, if they so spiritual and if they so prophetic and if they so anointed, Lord, you tell them, Jesus, you let them come to me, Lord, or else what? You won't get free, or else what? You won't get delivered and broken. These studies are studies to stir you up. These studies are studies to bring life back to things that you allowed to die and that God allowed to die. This ain't no game. Brother Miller, you were right. This is no game. One foot in and one foot out. We are at various levels of discernment. Some see clear due to exercise and experience and staying in the spirit. Some see obscure with confusion, a double mindedness. Some even just have this worldly vision, intuition. Forget about discernment. I'd rather go on what I feel, what I see with your dirty vision. Have you ever encountered someone that wears glasses and their lenses are filthy? Got all kind of debris and it's hazy. And you ask yourself, how can they see out of those dirty glasses? And you ask them, like, oh, I see just fine. Are you for real? <laughs> Why are we so quick in the spirit of being offended? Shall we not be provoked? By the spirit of self-examination? What about this issue? You know what? The Lord said, we are so quick to go and get surgery in the natural and have to be cut by people we don't know, have to be given medicines by people we don't know, have to convalesce with people we don't know, versus being going through surgery with people that you do know. People that love you with his spirit of discernment, with this quick healing power and bomb of Gilead. But no, we want to be offended by the person. Oh no, like, can you pick and choose who's going to be your surgeon at the hospital? Oh no, but we're going to pick and choose who we want to receive from, who, who we want this. Why? Because are they giving you fluff? Are they not challenging your flesh? Are they giving you excuse after excuse to, to let you just do you? You okay with doing you? Go 
Oh, here, baby, do you. I love you. I love you. I love you. But sin is sin. Why do we easily give place to our flesh to be used as a tool of Satan? And to be used by Satan as a tool. Two different things. And I'm going to break it down to you. When we are doing us versus working versus being put into, I'm being real careful by saying possessed because, you know, people get this goodbye. So I've been using inhabitants since being possessed. Uh, you know, being possessed is a fence to people. So I'm just going to say your inhabitants control over you. Because sometimes it could just be us. And then sometimes it could be those inhabitants. Why do we limit the amount of truth we are willing to accept? Something happened to me yesterday in the store. Mark and I in the thrift store, and he sees this mirror. That's a um a, a magnet. I forget is it a magnet or something. And this magnet was it, it, it was it was crazy. I have one in my own bed. And it, it, it shows magnets, and it shows you you know your face and what you actually really look like. Well, this one showed too much, and I said to him, I said, sir, that's too much truth for me. And that caught me. I said, so much truth. Now, I'm willing to accept this amount of truth. But <laughs> that amount of truth was just way too much. I already know what the imperfections of my face are. But I don't want you going to stop my pores. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you going to the white heads and the black heads. That was too much. But it, it stirred me. It made me think. That's how we do the Lord. We don't want his absolute truth. No, we don't. We are willing to accept a certain amount of truth. But when it hits your God or gods, oh, no. No, oh, no, no, no. You're not seeing right. No, do, 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 do. No, that ain't right. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. And, and let me, I, there's word. I got receipts, yo. I got receipts because I want, I want to give it to Fred. I want to give it to Fred. But I'm going to be obedient. And let me tell you, the enemy tried to shove me down this week. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He tried to shove because, you know, one of my old things was, and I'm not going to say now. I'm not going to say. Shut it up. That's what he wants. He wants you to be quiet. Why? Because he don't want the deception to be broken. He don't want his hole to be broken. He don't want, he wants everyone to be married to their excuses, because let me tell you this, the excuses are going to keep you out of the Lord's presence. He doesn't accept excuses. Matter of fact, you know, with Moses, with his excuse, he says, okay, well, I, here, here's Aaron. Now what? What now? Where's your excuse now? I gave you Aaron. He will be your mouthpiece. Now what? Will you go? And to what you said, Apostle Miller, about counterfeits, we need to be extremely aware of the false that's out here in the body of Christ. Because it looks good and it sounds good, but it is not God. I've got receipts. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I've got receipts. I got them. I love you. Absolutely love you. But I'm calling it what it is. And we all should do the same. There's plenty of church fluff out here. The Lord called them slaughterhouses. There's plenty of them out here. 
But if you want the Lord's way, it's going to be his way. It's not Burger King, baby. Do it his way or don't do it at all. Ecclesiastes said it's better for you not to even make a vow if you're not going to hear me. People waiting on other people to be delivered. Don't you be delivered first? Well, I'm waiting on somebody else, and I'm waiting on this, and I'm waiting on that. Where does it say wait? The only person we're supposed to wait on is wait on the Lord, and be your good courage, and He shall strengthen that heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. It don't say nothing about waiting on somebody else to be delivered. Waiting on somebody else for for your salvation. When I was at turning point before I left, I sought people to meet me at the altar for breaking. They didn't come to me. I went to them. But we were in this age, this day, and they, oh, no, we wait, and we sitting out there three Yeah, like Gideon. It was a time for that. That was for him. Ain't the time for no fleece now. But those are more excuses. It's more excuses. Lord's not accepting your excuses. I'll talk about love, you know. Uh, Moses said, so who's on the Lord's side? Right? Come stand by me. Right? When the children made that calf. Right? That calf of gold. That was rough. What did he tell them to do? Those that stood by him. What were the instructions? Because this is deep. What was his instructions? Anybody answer. Not all at once. Those that know the answer. That's a question. <laughs> I didn't hear the question. What was the question? What did Moses <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, past the possibility. I'll talk y'all love that hand raise. Look, y'all learned it. Praise him. <laughs> y'all got it. Y'all got it. Uh, the question was, what was the given to those that stood on Moses' side when he came down from the mount after being in the Lord's presence and saw that the people were worshiping and praising and dancing the idol, the calf, the golden calf. What what was his instruction when they stood by him? <laughs> Randy Miller. Pastor. Yeah, they they were supposed to uh, grind it the uh, uh, Ten Commandments to powder and mix it in water and drink it. I think is that right? Anybody else? Something like that. Uh, did, did, he, did he have them uh, slay their brothers that, that day? Is, that is correct. Oh, oh. yeah, he killed them. Yeah, they, that's he, how the Levites them. were. The Levites were created at that time. Those who slew their brothers, he had them kill and turn and kill brethren. Yes, he did. And thus became the beginning of the Levitical tribe. That is what happened first. Then um, Pastor Miller, what he Moses instructed to do, he said to grind it into power and made them drink. That is correct, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Was that not done in love, yo? <laughs> I'm just saying. Right? I'm just, I'm just saying. You know, we want to pick and choose what love is. We don't really, and yeah, we know a part we prophesy in part, yes. But judgment doesn't feel good, it's not designed to feel good, it's designed to provoke. To destroy provoke what? To That's right. right, right. 
right? Then, what's in you to expose what's in you? But we got such a spirit of offense. Can't tell nobody nothing. Because their feelings get hurt. So sensitive. Oh my God. I love you. Absolutely love you. But come on, grow up. You ain't tired of that soil milk yet. That curd milk yet. You ain't tired of it yet. It's turning yellow. You like the color yellow? Come on, guys. Really? That's why the Lord put in the four grounds. The stony ground, the, thor the thorny ground, the wayside ground, the good ground. Self-examination time, people. Just like women got to check their breasts, I'm telling you to check your spirit. What ground have you been nursing for 10 years, 15 years, five years? You got spirit of offense and, and, and spirit of, of, of shame keeping people in bondage. Mm -hmm. That's deception. It wants to keep you enslaved and in chains. But oh, don't show it to me. Don't tell me because that's just too much truth. I only want this amount. <laughs> That's all I want. That's all I want. That's all I want. Like Laban going after his gods. That man was hot. His daughters took his gods. What? Yeah, he was not with the Jacob Black lady. So what? They don't took my gods. Right? Yeah, I'm touching some of your gods today. For real. Lord's trying to get your attention. Because I'm telling you, a prophet Fred said, I don't believe it was this Saturday, but last Saturday, is that the Lord sends warning before destruction, before judgment, warning and you know the thing is is that he will do it privately if you just submit to it <laughs> I mean, he would take you in the clock let me tell you here sister let me tell you here brother i need to get some things i need you so i can get me into you privately he decided to make no open show with nobody <laughs> that only happens with you when you ignore them in the private Yeah, when you ignore them, when you say, "Oh no, that ain't me." Yeah, your God's mirror is 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 masked. It's skewered. It's obscured. God, you ain't no. You see, God, you're not seeing right. <laughs> we are so boating. God ain't seeing right. Are you for real? Seeing right. God, you must be wrong. That's not me. That ain't me. And then one last point. The Lord said deliverance now will be different than deliverance of the old. I thought that was interesting. Deliverance for now will not be like the deliverance of old. So you know deliverance, oh, when you got delivered, you know, you dipped and dabbed, you, you, you didn't you had to be delivered from the same thing again, and then you dipped and dabbed, and, and then it's going to, he said he likens it to a 20 to 40 year individual that has been behind bars, confined, chained, restricted, but when released, 
they will not return to the things that put them in prison in the first place. So deliverance now, when a person will receive deliverance today, they will remain that way. You wanna know why? Because they don't wanna go back. They experienced the prison and the hell and the Hades and the shoe or whatever you call it, you know, in the Bible. They experienced that life. They experienced the change. They experienced the restriction, right? They experienced that. But when God comes in, He makes all things new. I'm telling you, when God does a thing, he does it good. Yay and very good. You won't battle with the same thing no more. I'm telling you what he told me. Now, when he said to the woman that was caught in adultery and he told her, go sin no more, he didn't say she wouldn't sin, but she wouldn't sin that way. She wasn't caught in adultery again. You won't be entangled again. And that thing, you will not be tangled again. And believe me, Satan is not happy because he's used to you giving in to your flesh. He's used to you conceding your authority. He's used to you taking the back seat like me, wanting to diminish my voice. Not so. I don't care who don't like it. I'm not here to be your friend, yo, but I love you. I intercede for each and every one of you. Until the Lord tells me not to. Strange fire and strange flesh. And we get offended because somebody exposes it. Really? Thank you, Millers. I appreciate you because you stirred my spirit. I had to go and search it out for myself. See, that's the difference between a mature one and a baby. That mature person going to search this thing out to see it be so. You know that that baby's going to complain. I know she always doing this and she always got to say this and she always doing this and I I'm going to leave you to the kindergarten group and I'm going to move over here to the adult class. I ain't got time for you. But I want Jesus. But you want him your way. I want to do everything the Lord tells me. But the minute he requires your hand to do something, you can't be found. Oh, but wait, I want to wait in the back. You know what the Lord told me? Because I used to say that too. That's a self-righteous spirit. I said, what? I said, what, Jesus? I said, you mean to tell me I've been uh, operating in the summer? I said, Jesus. Because I was guilty of that. I, I just want to be a little handmaiden. Oh, just let me be a little doorkeeper. But you know what, Dave? I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord. I get that. But when he called you to the front, that's where he's called you. So anything other than the front is disobedient. Any position other than the position he called you in is disobedience. I love you. I absolutely love you. But there we go with our excuses. But I'm this, Moses. But Lord, I stutter and speak. I'm stuttering. You know how Moses was betrayed and taken me. In the movie, stutter in the speech, right? Slow in speech. Got excuses. But then he brings the remedy. What you gonna do with it? But well, now I'm gonna wait. Okay, so you had excuses. He gave you the remedy and you're still waiting. Uh -huh. 
they came to the rest. The Lord said, what should you do? They came to a body of water. And the Lord says to him, what's in your hand? So I ask y'all, what's in your hand? You know, I made every excuse in the book. Be disobedient. I'm just going to call it what it is. I'm not going to fluff you. I'm not fluff. You can find fluff somewhere else. I love you. Absolutely love you. But if you want to be a soldier, you're going to endorse sound doctrine or not. Right? <laughs> Because I've never been in the military. I can only imagine. Them drill sergeants are not fluff people. They're not designed to fluff you. They're designed to create you in their image. Mm -hmm. so we can do it naturally, but we can't do it spiritually. Well said. Because you have a spirit of offense? Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. I love you. Absolutely love you. And I'm saying it in love. Let me tell you. I ask the Lord, why you keep giving me these hard words? Lord, for real, you now ain't got no friends already. Jesus. Now I ain't going to have no family. Are you for real? For real? For real? And you know what he said? He had to remind me. He said, I called you a judge. I said, whoa, 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 wait. Years ago, before I moved to Colorado, my mom, she didn't even want to tell me this word. She grew up with this word, but she had to obey. She said, the Lord has called you a judge. So I didn't like the word either. Let me be honest. And forget about it until today. He reminded me today, this morning, 2023. I said, Lord, for real, you know what? I really don't want, <laughs> oh, Jesus. You know, we try to pray. We're going to pray past what the Lord say. I'm going to sing this worship song, past what the Lord say. And I'm like, Lord, for real, Lord, for real, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And I said, Lord, break every resistance in me that will not fulfill your full calling. Jesus could die because he fulfilled his calling. I love you. Absolutely love you. Jesus fulfilled his calling, yo. The man could die on the cross and for why? For all of us. If he didn't fulfill his calling, he would not have been able to do it. And we walking around here 50, 60, 70, 80 years old and still in elementary school. Fred, I, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm not sorry, sorry. Uh, y'all don't know how that saying goes. I'm sorry, not sorry. And it says, let the Holy Spirit do what he do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but for real, yo. For real. For real. For real. I don't like giving hard words. I don't sit around saying, Lord, give me the hardest words ever so I can judge your people. I have better things to do with my time, like sleep. For real. Better things to do. I grapple with it. I grapple. I'm like, Lord, why me? Why me? You know what? But at the end of the day, I got to obey. At the end of the day, we all have to obey. How we feel does not override our obedience. What it looks like does not negate our obedience. Whether they receive you or not does not obligate you to be disobedient. This ain't no game. He's trying to fit his soldiers properly with the, the proper battlements, the proper armaments, and proper strategy. 
play in the devil's house and, and think you're going to win with no strategy? He's going to take your butt off like in the book of Acts with those seven sons that I've never said this man's name right. The seven sons of Cephas. He tore that butt up. They didn't have no strategy. What is strategy? Jesus. And whatever he gives you in the night hour, whatever he gives you in that closet. For real, yo, it's just that deep. Someone said, it ain't that deep to me. I said, yeah, oh, yeah. What ground are you? Are you the thorny, thorny ground? Are you the wayside ground? Are you the ground of thorns? Or are you good ground? Help me, Lord. Because in good ground, whatever level of seed you receive, you're going to produce. That's what that means, some 60, 30, and 100. That seed you receive and faith you're going to produce out of that, whatever realm you're in. Whatever grade you're in, you're going to produce out of that. Just like the person giving talent. Some got five, he made 10. Some got two, he made four. But the one lazy spirit. No, I'm going to hide this one in Matthew. I'm going to hide it in the dirt, a dirt that's cursed, the ground that's cursed, right? And then me. I'm going to put it in a napkin. Right. Right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going I'm not going to produce from this. Cuz why? Cuz I ain't going to get no benefit from it. What about me, spirit? Well, what about me, spirit? First of all, it wasn't their goods to begin with. It was your master's good. Right. The word, the master's good. But we want to control who's going to receive, who's going to give it, who's going to get it. Let me tell you, and then what did he do with both? He took it from the one and gave it to the one that produced more. Mm -hmm. Right? 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 How many times does he have to bring you in remembrance of who you are and who's up, whom you are? How many times does he have to remind you? How many times does your superior in the army have to remind you to be on post? It won't oh, be reprimanded. I'm asking for those that have been in the military. How many times are you given before you reprimand it? It won't be many. Nope. Maybe one. If that especially if you're the higher rank, right? Because a higher rank means you've been through some things, right? So I can trust you, right? So I don't have to babysit you, right? Those stripes, they mean something, right? The rank, the grade means something. No, but the Lord's constantly reminding us, constantly trying to get our... Get us, get us to attention. Got to get us to attention. No more mixture. No more, whatever your mixture is may not be somebody else's mixture. You know you. Right? You know you. The people that get the word, hear it, receive it, when they're in your midst, but the minute they leave that anointed atmosphere, what happens with that word? The minute they leave that anointed phone call, what happens with that word? Then the next time you speak that in the same state they were the last time you spoke to them, rich. They're not holding on to something. Where's the leakage, yo? Where's the leakage? Pastor Miller, yo, thank you that stirred me. Playing church. Wow, sir. Wow. Counterfeit. Wow, Apostle Miller. Thank you. Thank you.
thank you. So I get this Bible study might not be for everybody. I digress because it's going to challenge you to be uh, something that you're not used to being. It's going to require from you something you're not used to giving. Yeah. 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 Dying to you. The way you think it ought to be done. The way you think it ought to look. It's not going to look <laughs> like you want it to look. And it ain't going to sound the way you want it to sound. But if you have this spirit of truth in you, truth recognizes truth. Right? If the spirit of truth will lead you and guide you into all truth, is leading you and guiding you into itself. Right? Right? No, I, I mean, does that not make sense to anybody up on here? <laughs> Right. Oh, I'm sorry. Little Freddie, I did not see your hand. I'm sorry, sir. Um, does what you have to say have to do with what's being spoke about? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. You know how like you said talking about like like the stand up, you know, making testimony to other people, how you know how we're supposed to, you know, speak the truth, how you know we be um delivered, you know, because you know, I was growing up and, you know, I felt like I wasn't delivered yet. So, you know, how, you know, I just, you know, brought shame to the family's name deeply. So, so I like to also be delivered, you know, I like to, you know, be delivered from the, the, the sins that we committed, you know, because as I was growing up, I couldn't stop thinking of the past. Well, you know, why did I do these evil things? You know, Frederick, just, hmm. is what you have to say have to do with what being spoken of currently. Spoken of currently? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you said um we've been speaking of um the deliverance, right? That's what we've been speaking of. I'm speaking on a lot of subjects, sir. Yeah, is um isn't deliverance one of the subjects? Deliverance in many things, sir. Yeah, yeah. Are you asking, are you using this time to ask for deliverance about a particular thing, sir? No, for many things. Okay. Noted. Keep your hand up. And you will be addressed when it's an open forum. Okay. Are you willing to do that, sir? Just to be delivered. Yes, because, you know. I ask you, are you willing to wait until the open forum, so when, every, when it's open for everybody to speak, are you willing to wait for that time for your question and desire to be addressed? Sure, sure, I don't mind. That's what I'm asking. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. The blood of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Help us do it. Deliver us, Lord God, for your source. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Now, I don't know if y'all can notice, but my picture is frozen. I'm not stuck in that frame. I just want y'all to know that it froze. My eyes are not closed currently. That's what it looks like. My eyes are closed. My, my eyes are not closed. Mm -hmm. oh. All I can see is a bear. <laughs> oh, well, I have my, okay. It's all good. Whatever. <laughs> and for whatever reason, it hasn't recorded. So sorry, people. No, the meeting today wasn't recorded. So ain't that like something? Okay. 
And no, shit, no, no, it's recording. It's recording. Yeah, it's, oh, it was recording. Yeah, it's recording. In the beginning. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I'm no, sorry. you're good. No, yeah. I I, just think was... Yeah, and I want and I want to copy. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to share these things uh, with you guys. Um. I love you guys, and I want us to be the best sons and daughters of the Lord, soldiers of the Lord that he has created us to be. I'm not saying we're not going to make mistakes because what Proverbs says, a just man falleth seven times, but what? Dude gets back okay. up. That's what makes the soldier, right? Yep. You make mistakes. You know, don't let it. Don't, I mean, if we make mistakes. We live in this life. <laughs> But don't let that thing drown and choke you and prevent you from moving forward. Don't do it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. So I encourage all of you to be Be mindful, be cognizant of these things. And don't let the enemy play with your mind. Please. Please. Because the spirit of deception is deep. Matt is so deep he deceives you to let makes you think you ain't deceived. That's how deep that spirit is. I'm not deceived. Okay. Well, if you have to say so. Right? I'm not deceived. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. So I just no, I don't come at you. And me, and, I, and you know, you have to know the difference between the messenger cutting versus the message cutting. I've experienced both. Know the difference. Because when that person is doing the cutting, there's no love behind their words. There's no love behind it, but bitterness and hate. But when that word is doing the cutting, he said, what in Hebrews, what is it, Hebrews 4.12? Two-edged sword? What does a male child go through what, when he's seven days old? He go, most children, most males, parents that opt to do that, they cut away the foreskin. Circumcision. Right? Circumcision now today, they call, consider it cosmetic. Most insurances won't even pay for it no more. But it's for the health of the child. The God knew what he was doing spiritually and naturally because of bacteria and dirt can cause infection and stink and rot. Why do you think we need to be circumcised naturally, spiritually? Because things can hide under debris. I can hide. Looking high. I don't want to be seen. No, we're not in a church setting, but best believe where the two or three are gathered in his name. You ain't got to be in no church. He's in the midst. I guarantee you, there's some days I expect nobody to come on this. Uh, but best believe I'm gonna have Bible study all by myself, and I'm certainly gonna record it. You come, don't come. Bible study still gonna go. Believe you me, I'm telling you the truth. Whether I'm in pain, whether I'm not in pain, it's gonna come. Fred, sir. <laughs> uh, if you uh, since this, <laughs> this is what Saturday, so I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> Over to you. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, sir. Hey, <laughs> man, hey, man, hey, man, hey, man, hey, man. <laughs> Hey, hey, uh, I tell you, sis, the Holy Spirit is awesome because a lot of what you, a lot of what you're speaking, 
right, is what the the Lord, the word uh, that the Lord had given given me to speak. A lot of it of what you're speaking is a lot what the Lord has been dealing with me about, right? And a word that the Lord has been wanting wanting for me to go ahead and give to God's people, right? And you hit on a lot of points, right? Especially truth, right? Right? The Bible says in John what fifteen or sixteen, John fifteen. Even the spirit of truth from the world cannot receive because it seeth them not, neither knoweth them. But ye know him because he's what he's in, in you and shall he's he's with you and shall be in you. Uh -huh. So if the spirit of truth is not in us, we're not going to accept the truth, nor recognize it, nor recognize it, right? Nor recognize it. Right. If the truth is not in me, the Holy Spirit is not in me. How am I going to accept the truth from you? Mm -hmm. How am I going to identify it, see it? Because what the God of this world has what blinded, blinded the eyes of them that believe not. not. Less. <laughs> you better go ahead, sir. Uh -huh. And it starts with what believing. Believing because what, and we talked about that last week. Who's gonna be in what did it says in Revelations? In Revelation for the for the liar, for the fearful and unbelieving, and so forth shall what have their part in the lake of fire. Right. So if I have unbelief in my heart, if I don't believe, and you said believing is not just me saying, I believe you, Lord, it's trusting in, relying on, adhering to, living in him. And you said relying on him, giving my total being to the Lord, my total being to the Holy Spirit, living in the spirit and not in the flesh continuously, not just when I feel like it. Oh, Lord, help me. Not just when I want to, but living and walking in the spirit and not in the lust of my flesh. Continuously, when I wake up in the morning, the Lord nudges me, get up, get up. Oh, it's 12 o'clock in the morning. Lord, I'm tired. Get up. I want to talk to you. Go talk to this person. Talk to this person. Obedience. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Right? If we be what? Willing and obedient, we shall what? Eat the good of the land. But if what? We refuse and rebel. He is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Refuse and rebel, we shall be what? Devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken, and Lord, help me. Help me to be willing and obedient. Help, help me. me to receive your truth. Because David said, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By what? Taking heed thereto according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee, O Lord. Right. Are we seeking him with our whole heart? Jesus, 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 Jesus. John chapter 4, verse 24. For God is the spirit, and they that worship him is what? Worship him in spirit and in truth. But am I worshiping him in my flesh? Lord, help me. Is my flesh praying and calling out to God? That was what the word, the word the Lord wanted me to speak. Confession out of Psalms, out of Psalms 32. It happened a long time ago. 
Yes, yes. You remember that, right, babe? I really do. Lovely what message. Was... Go ahead, bro. I said that was a lovely message. <laughs> right? Have I confessed my sins? Or am I holding on to them? As Adam, what did Adam do in the garden? He hid. He, he hid, but before he did, what did he do, him and Eve? They took of the fruit. After they took of the fruit? Their eyes were opened. Their eyes were open after their eyes were open. Dude, I must be missing it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they hid. They hid. Didn't they hide? Yeah, I said they, that. They covered themselves. Ah, yes. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. They covered oh, themselves with fig leaves. <laughs> right. Right. They oh. identified and saw that they were naked, were naked, naked of the, the spirit of God upon them, and they <laughs> comfort themselves. Wow. And they hid. Wow. So you know, that I, I, I'm sorry not to cut you. That's amazing. Just that one point, because. I, I share it with Carol. Or I might have shared prior before. I, I like to say, well, God asked a stupid question. But God had to segue with that question of where are you? Because their glory, the same reason why he turned away from Christ, had been removed yeah. from Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. That's the point. That's the point. That's right. Uh, okay. Glory of God left. Wow. Yeah, that's God good. didn't have a connection with them anymore. He had to ask, where are you? He so it wasn't a stupid Even though question. he knew. Even though he knew. He, he, he needed he them knew, to identify. A, oh, that's right. right. Where have you gone? And he hid. Jesus. And he covered himself. That was first one, two. And then the third is he blamed his wife. He didn't take ownership of his sin. He said, the wife that you have given me has beguiled me. Well, you blame wife and God. And God. That you gave. <laughs> <laughs> what well, you gave. <laughs> you gave it, God. Exactly. I was okay without her before she dropped here. I didn't ask you to bring her here. Even though I was lonely. <laughs> I was on my way out this garden to go find me something, but you said you better not go out there. Let me knock you out. Knock him out. I don't want him finding what Cain finds later. I don't need that. Wow. That's uh huh. Cool. So he blamed God and he blamed the woman, even though his job was to secure guard, ten first guard tender, first cop, first gardener, first bouncer. <laughs> yes, that was wow. his job. That's he good. failed at his job. That's good. That's good. That's good. And he covered his sin up. Jeez. Are we covering our sin? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Am I covering my sin? Am I holding my sin in my bosom? Because I tell you, I say this. If we hold our sin in our bosom, guess what? It affects our body naturally and spiritually. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. If I do not confess my sins to God, and I'm not just talking about, and that's a whole nother story, but come in, not just conf confessing to those who I've hurt, but first confessing my sin to God. What I've done, what's hidden in my heart. Oh, Rabbi, Lord, help me, Father. The thing that I know that is in my mind. The secret faults and presumptuous sins. 
Psalms 19. Yes, yes, yes. What is presumptuous? Those prideful. Presuming. Subconscious. Everything that presumes. Things that presumes. Am I hiding these things in my heart? Carol put it perfectly. Right? We're not accepting the truth. We do not worship, are we worshiping God with our whole hearts, with our whole minds, and Lord, deliver me, because nothing is wrong with being delivered. Nothing. The Lord delivers me. I ask him to deliver me every day. That's what we need to do. Lord, save me every day. Come into my heart and renew me every day. Sanctify my spirit because I need you in order to stand in this evil, evil world. Jesus, Jesus, yes. Yeah. We got to be delivered. Nothing is wrong with the Lord. Yes, I want your deliverance Jesus. in my life from every, any little tiny secret sin. Jesus. Because what? A little bit of leaven. Okay, say it again. A little bit of leaven, leaven is the whole lump. That's the whole thing. Jesus. Before I know it, my prayer life is gone. Mm -hmm. Prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before I know it, I'm doing things that I used to do, talking things, having conversations of the old man that I used to have. Entertaining the old man, yes. Am I confessing my faults unto God? Or am I hiding my transgression in my bosom? As Job said, hiding my transgression in my bosom. Are we confessing our faults to one another? Yes, Pops, because I'm, um, yes, I would like, you know, to confess my sins of, you know, all the evil wickedness of porn, of masturbation, of all these evil things us young, us young generation are doing right now, because, you know, all the evil wicked things that we, we've been passed on from friends to the drugs to, to everything, even, even in my house right now, there's still drugs in the house, or, you know, I like to confess that sin for all the evil things of, fornication all, all homosexuality every, everything that right now our generation is really deep into to amen. where even like it's just crazy sir so i'll even amen, like amen 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 pretty amen ends us because you know i've even been the jail of, of all the wicked things lord now i don't want to ever go back you know amen so, amen and you confess that to jesus you confess that to jesus freddie all you need to do is confess that to Jesus, uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 9, right? That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yes, so you confess yes, those faults to Jesus. I told you him open that. your heart to Jesus and allow him to cleanse you, to sanctify you. Right? When daddy's talking about confessing our faults to one another, I'm talking about if I hurt you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I hurt you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to give up the altar. That's right. I need to come to you. I can't come to God. That's correct, sir. I did tell him that. Jesus. If I hurt you, I need to come to you and say, I apologize for what I've done. <clears throat> and work it out with you before seeking the face of God. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. <laughs> Go ahead, Dave. I'm sorry. I think there's a balance that needs to be understood 
and understanding or separating iniquity, um, which develops both as a noun and a verb, because it is the root thing in which when they looked at the, when she looked at the fruit, lust had already begun in the heart, right? Amen. Mm -hmm. So that's lust. That was the beginning of lust, right? Mm -hmm. Which was the iniquity that begun in her heart, right? Amen. Mm -hmm. Which in turn produced when lust had conceived, it brings forth sense. Amen. Okay. So the process of the iniquity that you want to explain, my young nephew, um, is one that I am transparent of and very real and vocal about. When you ask God, I'm going to explain to you how your deliverance go in that nature. Yes. It, it is the point in being vocal in the matter of becoming the overcomer, yes. not being one that says, well, Defeated. God has freed me and I'm delivered and I'm an overcomer and I no longer battle. I no longer want women. <laughs> really? <laughs> On what planet does that happen? Yeah. If you're a heterosexual, you understand what I'm saying? We have to be balanced. There's got to be balanced. The biggest fact is Proverbs, what is it, 11 1? What is it, a just weight? Or is it 15? A just, a false balance is what? An abomination, but a just weight is what? A, a delight. delight. A delight. He said the first thing was one of the abominations was a proud look. You Amen. know, son, nobody's throwing you under the table for battling secret fleshly sins. Amen. You can that to your father, which yes. is heaven. Absolutely. It's very important because one thing even us Christ followers who say we are like him um, judge. You don't want those to judge. You don't want those. Um, wisdom is the principal thing. Yeah. When, when, it, when confessing, it's not always good to do it in a huge group setting. Mm -mm. Find a one-on-one -on -one confidant that you can confide. Hey, Amen. That's right. That's right. Because you never want your good to be evil spoken of. That's you right. never want your information transferred from this point to this point. And as she said, uh, us... Folks, we got itchy ears. We're always newsy and busybodies and yes, other people. Right. Are you know what I mean? And so people, people I, can I, use that information against you. And, 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 and the scripture I looked up, man, it, it says Isaiah 26 and 3. I always do amplify. The Lord said to me a long time ago and keep going to school. He said, You keep going to school and want to go to college and want to get this degree and that degree. But when will you take my word to college? So as I'm, I've been educating people, try to get the Hebrew Bibles, learn these things, get your Jewish calendars. Uh, Carolyn got the book of Jasher, um, the book of Enoch. We're, we're going through these things. We're studying. I'm trying to educate y'all on really deeper things that Jesus was referring to in the Bible. But a very simple thing is this. And if we're talking about the battle of how we're literally supposed to live our life, you will keep in perfect and <laughs> constant <laughs> peace. Ooh, the wow. one whose mm. mind is steadfast that is committed and focused on you. Mm -hmm. In both inclination and character because he trusts and takes refuge in you with hope and confident expectation. Wow. So the, the, the goal is not necessarily saying, Oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. Proper way of really doing it is first saying thank you. Lord, thank you. Amen. I'm so I'm so ungrateful. Amen. Amen. We got so much and you woke up this morning. Amen. You know, we're not thankful. Neither were they thankful. Let's before That's before right. we go into all those reprobate things, before he turned them over, he said, neither were they thankful. Then they became what? Vain. That's right. That's when we can't be told nothing. That's right. That's right. So yeah. as I'm thankful, my nephew, I thank God for everything first. Then I pray for everyone else's forgiveness first before I pray for myself. Why? 
As Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they yes. Amen. Amen. I can't be selfish. Amen. First will be last. Last will be first. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? The husband man, yes, has to be first partaker, meaning right. let me accept this abuse first when I read this word. This Amen. word's supposed to beat you up. As he said, it can do it at home. Amen. <laughs> you ain't got to embarrass me in public. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Deal with me in private, Jesus. Put my so, business you know, out here. Just keep them on your head. Keep them on your mind. And I can say this one last thing because you got a lot of people. We are from the same past. Turning point is your past, people. Turning point is your past. God called Abram to leave his kindred. He never told him to take Lot. Because he took Lot, it was drama. Let's not hold on to nothing when God moved us each. That foundation is there for us to build on. Yes, sir. It is just a foundation. <laughs> if we are in the same state of a chapter that God closed for us, because if he said your thoughts and your memory and, and your sins is to be remembered no more, he throws it in the sea of forgetfulness. Well, let's use that stepping stone as talking about our growth and our future now. You talking good, sir. You talking good. You talking that's what that's just, that's 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 where I'm at. That's all. I don't want no trouble. You talking good. You talking good, sir. Talk I'm done. Good. You talk. Good. Amen. 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 You know, I had said those same things to Frederick about confessing to the Lord. Um, and one thing the Lord's been dealing with me. About and I think I share with they. We can't share everything with everybody. No, we cannot. Not everybody will leave what you say at the no, altar and cover you not. in prayer. No, they will not. Not everybody is equipped and mature enough to do that. Amen. So you are leaving yourself openly exposed for attack, and you wonder why, why am I being attacked. Yo, you just exposed yourself to somebody that wasn't one of number one, wasn't equipped to handle. That's right. Ma wasn't mature enough to digest. That's right. And unfortunately, wasn't spiritual enough to pray. That's right. That's a fact. That's a fact. They can't carry you in prayer. Amen. Mm. Jesus. Oh, Lord, have you wait, We just got to have somebody to talk to. That's my mm. era. Mm. Learning the hard way. Talk to Jesus. That's what he told me. He said, talk. Yeah. I said, I started laughing. Yeah. He said, you looking for a friend? What'd he say? I'm the friend that sticketh closer oh, than bro. any brother in yet. Yeah, it's yeah, but we got that flesh and blood, friend. And let me tell you, I'm not saying don't have no friends. That's not what we're really putting out of the atmosphere. That's not what we do. Sister Carol said we can't even have friends, yo. That's a lie. <laughs> don't be telling that lie. <laughs> but what he told me was, he said, "Talk to me." Amen. Because he knows how to handle it. Yeah, yeah. He knows what to do with it yeah. Yeah. right right sometimes our brother don't know how to handle Amen. that thing sometimes our sister don't know how to handle it but we just gotta get it out Amen. we just gotta get it out and then you hear somebody else in your business what Judgmental or criticizing. That's right. Instead of taking it to the altar. That's right. Covering you and your situation in prayer and under the blood of Jesus. That's right. So you can't talk to everybody. Because not everybody can handle it. And then, and another thing, 
If they're not, and I say this, and I say this very carefully. If they are not even spiritually on the level that you are, you are putting them in danger. Amen. With information that they are not equipped That's to right. ingest or even digest. Because what they produce out of what you say is a reflection of the fruit you gave them, the seed Amen. you gave them. That's right. And That's if right. you don't like the reflection, it is not their fault. It is yours. That's right. Ah, yes. Uh, <laughs> Millis, I see your hand. Millers, you, your mic, your mic's off. Your mic's off. I, I was thinking, I was thinking of the scripture where that Paul says, "Have ye not many fathers?" Mm -hmm. So there's only certain people that can really speak to your spirit to bring that growth. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Very talented. Very talented. Yeah. That's good. good. And when you were saying about. Um, uh, be beyond the place where you are so that you can really deliver them, so that you can really pray for them. Because if they're on the same, if you're on the same level with them, what can you really give them? You know what I'm saying? You have to be in a place where you can identify, apply, subtract if necessary, whatever you need to do with this with this entity because you know what when you start praying in the spirit realm i mean when you say yes i'm gonna take on this lord and you start praying you're going to and if you're consistent and if your spirit is real and if your spirit is true and your mouth made a vow and you intend to keep that vow then there are things that you are going to encounter and things that are going to be revealed. Mm -hmm. And they have to be dealt with, like you said, one by one. They have to be dealt with name by name. Because if you do not do that, then they're not going anywhere. They're going to do what they used to do in our Bible study. And that is, they're going to lay dormant. They're going to stop. They're going to be quiet. And they're going to act like they've been oh, cast out. <laughs> but they are still there because you didn't do what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. You didn't do it the right way, you know? So I agree with praying 100%. And 100% is releasing my spirit so the spirit of God can talk with me, can commune with me about what is the assignment for this prayer. Every prayer has a specific assignment. That may sound strange, but when you sit, when you acknowledge that, Lord, what does that mean? That you said, God will give you an understanding. Yes, He will. That it's, it's, it's not a game. It's not a game. Praying or intercessing with someone, holding their life. If you're in, literally, it is not a game. This is not a game. It's not a game for those that are inconsistent in prayer. It's not a game for those that are lax. It's not a game where you you have no scripture in your mind. You have nothing to fight with. It's not a game. This is not a game. You know, I just you know I I love my uh, my grandson. I love my grandson. And I have not stopped praying for you. I have not. When you came into my home. I have not stopped praying for you because you are a daughter. I pray for you as I would my daughter, as I would for my sons, because nothing has changed. The enemy hasn't changed. He's still the same. The warfare is still the same. You know. And but and and, and 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 that's it. We have to realize that we're going into an avenue of war, and we've got to be battle ready. Talk mm -hmm. to you, about, I'll tell you about being battle ready, mm -hmm. and what you have to.
they had to carry that, that sack on their back for long walks. Battle ready, because they have to have everything that they need, you know, battle ready. So it's 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 not a toy and it isn't a joke. It's to be taken seriously. And because you want to start praying, because you sought out someone to pray with you, then that is such a wisdom right there. That's a blessing. That's a blessing right there in you. Because you have come to the place where you acknowledge that you need a savior, you know. Amen, my, my nephew. I mean, my, my grandson. And God is going to use that boldness. Amen. Because, you know, shame is is the first thing that aligns itself with guilt that, as was mentioned earlier, keeps people from wanting to ask forgiveness, wanting to keep praying, wanting to keep fighting. Um, Brother Miller. Step yeah. up. Check it. I think you said something that um, I know you mentioned Paul, but I want to ask you, were you referring to the scripture that says, my brethren, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation, or was it a different scripture? You were referring about not having many masters or many fathers. I think that's right. You know, I'm going to read that in the Amplified. I found it amazing. Okay. Um, again, I, I, I'm going to have to mute you, Miller, because I don't know your mic is giving a lot, a lot of bio. Can anybody here out here that? Yeah, we can. They might have to mute it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. I don't want you to think we're ignoring you, but I just wanted to thank you. Sorry about that. Go ahead, sir. Um, The Amplified version of that scripture, so... It, 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 everything, as I said, you know, God has been dealing with me a lot with balance. And you guys hit a few words was truth. And I've been saying transparency. I think that's what the church world lacks is transparency. Nonetheless, um, the Amplified, is, it is James chapter three, verse one. And I'm going to read two, too, because, again, it's about balance. But it says not many of you should become teachers. Self, self constituted censors and reprovers of others, mm -hmm. my brethren. For you know that we teachers will be judged by a higher standard mm -hmm. and with greater severity than other people. Thus, Jesus. we assume the greater accountability and more condemnation. Now, mm -hmm. check this part. This is the part that, and Carolyn mentioned, she. And she did throw this out one time about it, that just man. Okay. For we all often stumble and fall and offend. I'm guilty. I want to raise my hand. <laughs> Where the Lord is raising me to be that if I do make those mistakes, I'm not going to run and high. I'm not going to go try to pray. I'm going to leave quickly. Amen. Leave my gift, gift on the altar. And go Amen. rectify it. Why? Because I'm going to give you a deeper meaning. Jesus says, what happens if your brother Amen. does what 491 times? <laughs> if he sins against you. Huh? How many times did he say to forgive your brother? 70 mm -hmm. times. That's what? 470 times or something? I think something? that's 491. 490. Is it 91? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh, look, Freddie, have I offended you, Frederick, 491 times? You no. see my point? I still got credit. <laughs> I got credit. Yeah. 490 times. You know, I yeah, got exactly. credit. Yeah, he got one more. One more. I got one more. For one more left? Good <laughs> golly. Tell me what did we Well, does it drop off in a few years? You know, like, none of it. It's an extended life. <laughs> one more left. <laughs> Nonetheless, the whole point is this. I, I think <laughs> the walk, this walk, my nephew, this walk, has to be balanced with the fact that James said to count it. This is still James. So now you go back. James is the one bringing balance about understanding that you got to go through something. Count it all joy. When you go through, not if. That's correct. We offend. We fall. We stumble. But. If anyone does not offend in speech, never Amen. says the wrong things, he is fully developed. Amen. Character and a perfect Amen. man. 
That's good. That's good. able to control his old body and to curb his entire nature. This is our goal. That's my goal, bro. Amen. That's our goal. That's the consciousness of man. That's it's not goal. about having always needing to be checked. It's about being conscious of the fact that I need to check myself. That so because I, I gave Carol in the scripture the other day about shrinking sin. Amen. Say that again, sir. <laughs> but that was an amplified scripture. That word was shrink. It doesn't, it, 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 James, uh, first John goes about practicing sin. Again, what are we doing? You either will know them by their fruit because your light is either going to grow or it's going to diminish. That is correct, sir. There's no in between. Okay. Hot or cold, lukewarm, you get spewed. Spit out. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, God ain't that kind of, yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> He ain't, he don't swing. <laughs> Sorry. He's merciful. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. merciful. Heck, he took Hosea, Hosea's wife, woman of whoredom, took her back so many times. Took me back so many times. Amen. Amen. But let's not act like it ain't prophets out there that won't cut you up in pieces. Wow. There's the balance. <laughs> Jesus, that's the balance. And he you ain't the only. He wasn't the only prophet that had to cut somebody up. Samuel was the very first one that had to chop somebody up in pieces. The very first prophet that got his clothes dirty, and the, he unnecessarily chopped the man in pieces too. By the way, hewn down, hewn like that. That word hewn. That's. <laughs> Overkill to me. That's like using more than two bullets. <laughs> want to be complete, though. <laughs> Who am I? He wanted to show off. God is a show off. I keep. I want to explain this to people. When God want to kill somebody, when want to, we want to utterly obliterate them. He wants to scare. When he put Egypt in the middle of that sea, he wanted all the surrounding neighbors to know. And he was still picking fights on his way out with all the people that told him no. Hmm. Let's not act like God said vengeance is mine. You just not supposed to commit vengeance. Amen. So, nephew, as long as you got that pure heart, man, God will use you. Amen. Right now, this group, you've already shared what you shared. So now us individuals, two, three, four, five, six, six people will have you in prayer for what you do. And it will not be for discussion. No, it won't. It ain't nobody business. I'm just saying, but the Lord. <laughs> I'm just saying. Fred, sir, <laughs> your hands been amen, up. Amen, 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 amen. amen. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, hey, and, and we talk about as far as the compromise, right? We talk about as far as the compromise, as far as having one foot in the world and one foot with God. And we already know that you can't serve two gods. Right. Yes. Um, let's go ahead and go to uh, Revelation chapter two. Uh, Revelation chapter two, verse six. Actually, verse five. Revelation chapter two, verse five, six. All right. I'm going to read that. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen and repent and do the first work. So I also will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of it, out of his place. Except thou repent, but thou, but this thou hast, that thou, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans. Nic Nicolaitans. Nicolaitans. Very good, Freddie. Which I also hate. Right. Now we're gonna look up the Nicolaitans. Right. Who are the Nicolaitans? Right. So. If we look in history, right, the Nicolaitans were um, people who were eating things that was offered to idols. That's right, but also, but also too involved with paganistic. Yeah, pagan, yeah. That's right, so, right, as well as trying to serve God at the same time. Wow, that's they got wow. both dictionary. <laughs> Jesus. That's right. <laughs> So they were trying to mix both worlds together. 
Wow. They were compromisers. They were apostles. Yes, they were. So this is, this is, and you really hear Jesus say hate. Huh. Let's look at the verse again. God help me. But this thou hast, verse six, that thou hatest. Okay. The deeds. They were worshipers of faith. Worship. Fred, you still there? Yeah, what, what happened to him? You you froze, Fred. Okay, there he is. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, what happened? Turn your mic on. Fred, turn your mic on. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, everybody. My computer went dead on me. All right, but but we see that Jesus stated that he hated the deeds of these people. Hated the deeds of these people. So that means to show and show us that the Lord hates a lukewarm person. Amen, sir. Or let me say, hate the deeds of a Luke warm person right? Jesus. Yeah. Yes. the deeds of one who compromises one foot in the world and one foot with God right ah it's okay it's okay to to, to have this type of conversation right it's okay to have these type of thoughts Right? It's okay to do this. It's okay to do that. Oh, nothing is wrong with that. Just a little bit. It's okay. But now is the time. Today and now is the day of salvation. As you put it, Carol, this is not the day to play around. We see so much compromising in the church. We have we have current people right now, bishops, that are being investigated, who you never would have thought would be involved with stuff. Currently being investigated for sexual uh, immorality. <clears throat> and God is starting to starting to expose God is starting to expose and that's judgment and that's the mercy of God there you go <laughs> it's the worst because he could have killed you he could have took exactly. your breath you know what I'm saying he could be dead exactly. right now exactly. that's the mercy. <laughs> it's still mercy <laughs> It's still the mercy and grace of God to judge, to expose, to shake, to judge, and to show us, show me my wrong. Where I am, where I currently stand, but do I want to see it? Do I want to see myself? Do I want to see my wrong? Do I want the Holy Spirit to show me me? Do I want to hear the truth? That's the confessing. The relying, the believing on Christ. Leaning on him. Amen. 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 Fred, you know, when you said that, it reminds me of the, the reason for open exposure is that all who are present will see and fear. Amen. 
least true. it happens to you. That's right? right? Amen. Right? If I if the Lord had to decide to openly expose whatever yeah, it is that you are denying and, and 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 not believing is there, he's doing it because he knows there's other in the midst that are dealing with the same exact thing. Amen. So expose this individual. Least I do you fear so you can change. Yeah. Yeah. Reference to acknowledge you know what God, yeah, if you did it to them, you surely do it to me. Amen. So let me get me right because I don't want to be embarrassed. That's right. Learn from right. example. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But then, too, that's still the mercy. God. I remember one time the Lord had me do an open confession. Now, <laughs> let me tell you, I did everything in my power not to do it. <laughs> let me tell you. But he said, I need you to do it. I did not know why he wanted that. I go to church. I sit in the back of the church. This is back in turning point. I sit in the back of the church, right? I, I say, well, I have a testimony. <laughs> so um, I wanted to sit down and get this testimony. Not so, man. They had me stand up. I'm like, well, why can't I Amen. get this testimony? Sit down. And not only that, then they made me go to the front of the church. I see. <laughs> So I did it. I did it because the Lord told me to. And in doing so, others in the house got delivered from the same spirit yeah. that I confessed. Oh, I did. Yeah, now, had normal. I just opened and yeah. said, not normal, I'm going to go ahead and church today. To... Yeah, I'm yeah, going to so... skip church yeah, on today because so... you surely not going to make me expose myself to turning point so they can keep talking yeah. about me for 20 years. Oh, remember that yeah. time Carol climbed out the window and had sex with that boy? Remember that time? Her mom locked her out the window. Because you know we remember everything about everybody. Amen. Was it for my benefit? Yes, but it, it had a picture beyond me. Amen. So there are times when it's uh, appropriate for open. Amen. Right? And there's times for it. But you got to know when that is. Yes. Yeah. In my power. Yeah. No, man. no, Lord, did I really hear you, Jesus? <laughs> you know, that's how we do the religious game. Wait, was that the Lord? Lord, was that you? Amen. Hey, he's not going to tell you to expose him. That's right. I got to say this, very simply, it was already said, you know one by their fruit. Yes. And one thing the test that they always said the test of a prophet was what he said came to pass. That's correct. Um, spirit of prophecy can fall upon anybody. Amen. I do know there was a school of prophets that those had to attend even in the Bible. And um, I do know that if the Lord is speaking something and saying something, it's not just what he's saying or not saying, pay attention to the signs and disposition. You know, Carol mentioned something a while ago and it was in hint to what changed his disposition after he left the presence of the Lord? Well, she was referring to being at the waters of strife. And something I gave, I said to Carolyn that the Lord just said to me, is something so prevalent about water. I find myself always praying in when I'm in water. I'm at my most exposed. And what I found that as Khaled eloquently broke down how mean Moses could be when he needed to be, and God never checked him. Why? Matter of fact, I would tell him, you better go handle them. You better go. You better go. But this particular time, the Bible says they reach a water called the waters of Meribah. These were the waters of strife. And this caused great contention. I can take you all the way back up to the Gospels now. Now we have the pool of Bethesda, 
where again, there's some healing that happens at a particular season. Mm -hmm. So God is about salvation when it comes to this water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Moses, Aaron, Joshua, all frustrated. You got 3 million people on your hips, fussing you out, cussing you out. Moses, you brought us here to die. I don't get you. What's the problem? Are we understanding what is bewitching people today in certain situations? Again, pay attention mm. to signs and situations. God mm. sticks with symbolisms. So whether or not we recognize it or not, he Amen. does. Amen. Amen. Okay. So Moses is angry. They're angry. The Bible says that they have to go to the tent of meeting. That's where the Lord dwells. The Ark of the Covenant dwells. And the Bible said that they had to pray themselves through before the presence of the Lord even showed up. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now, this is the part that Carol just said, what's your disposition after leaving the presence of the Lord? I'm just giving you the whole background. God shows up, but he wasn't full of strife. Sometimes when you come to an area of strife, and say we're all motivated by this agitation of whatever. We're expecting God to come the same way, but he's coming with the whole flip-flop. <laughs> okay. All right. Do the you opposite. understand what I'm saying? Coming the opposite. Listen, he told Moses in such a calm way, watch me show off. Watch what I'm about to do. Moses wants to explain. He said, no, I got this. He explained to Moses where they were at these waters and says, now number the people, set them up. Watch me do this thing. And I want you to speak to this rock and watch how my glory, watch how the people are going to do this and they're going to glorify me. God was looking for praise during strife. Wow. Okay. 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 So who messed this whole thing up? Moses, because he leaves the presence of the Lord after having to bring him up, which means I had to pray my attitude off. Jesus, Jesus, that's good, sir. But on that's the way back to the people, here comes my attitude. Why? Because I started seeing 10,000, 30,000. People, the attitude of people. Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious, I start seeing the whole group now and it's starting to agitate me because now I'm back in front of them and all they're going to do is irk me and I don't even think they deserve God's water. That's how we get. Let's not act like we don't get too pious. That's Let's true, not sir. act like we don't get, get like your boy Jonah. Let's not act like, you know, we want to decide who deserves salvation and who doesn't. That's true, sir. That is true. Okay. God said, I want you to speak. Moses and his anger struck. Later on, you will find out in that chapter, God takes Moses, uh, Eli Eleazar, and Aaron up to the mountain. Why? To kill a man. Jeez. Because the high priest didn't check even Moses. They don't tell me Moses himself shouldn't have got checked because God killed Aaron because he didn't check his brother. Wow. I don't care how high we think we are. We all can be checked. Amen to that. And we can lose our life and lose out into a promised land flowing with milk and honey. And that's very important that we understand God's disposition. It's not always our disposition. The amplified version of uh, uh, says uh, James, the first chapter says the wrath of man working out the righteousness of God. Well, it says, Man's wrath doesn't promote what God, uh, it doesn't, uh, I will not do that. I will read it right. <laughs> I am sorry. Uh, it should oh, be James, oh first chapter, let's just try 18, 19, first. okay, 20 verse. So Amplify says, for man's anger does not promote the righteousness God wishes and requires. So you're gonna go mess something up thinking I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go fix this myself. I'm gonna go bust Freddy head up. I'm gonna go get you, Fred. Yep. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get my brother. But God's saying, I'm gonna talk to him, David. I'm gonna talk that's, to that's, him. That's 471. Oh, uh, that's see. Oh, what? I, I used my last one. Goodness gracious. <laughs> 
Fred, you keep an accounting, man. I'm telling you, I'm going to call you the accountant. <laughs> Jesus. Nonetheless, hey, January 1st, you better take 10 off. Anyway, man's <laughs> wrath, though. <laughs> man, man's wrath, though, doesn't promote what God is, what God is looking for. And we always, there's always a way that seems right to man. Amen. Always Amen. a way. We always thinking we're using wisdom when we don't really have the uh, right understanding. Wisdom is the principal thing, but with all that wisdom is irrelevant without understanding. Amen, sir. You know, Amen. we, we, we got a simple task. Keep God on your minds. Keep them on your minds. I will keep you in perfect peace. I will keep you content. I will keep your mind, your inclinations, your focus. If it's about just making sure you straight with me. The only way to do that is start your day right. Why? I'm going to thank them when I'm in the car. Why? Because at the end of the day, I'm not in a rush. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have to act like an old man just to know that I need to be smart. You know, so I'm grateful for this Bible study. I do appreciate your, uh, you know, the word. I appreciate the word. You know, Dave, to go with what you said, uh, Moses <laughs> asked God several times, and I'm going to read it. Deuteronomy 3, 26 to 26. And I besought the Lord at that time saying, oh, Lord God, thou has begun to show thy servant thy greatness. And thy mighty hand, for what God is there in heaven or in earth that can do according to thy works and according to thy might? I pray thee, let me go over and see the good land that is beyond Jordan, that goodly mountain in Lebanon. <laughs> but the Lord was wroth with me for your sake and would not hear me. And the Lord said unto me, let it suffice thee. Speak no more unto me on this matter. You know what that means? <laughs> for me to go over. My judgment has already been set. My word is law. But you can see it though, because I love you. I love you, yo. That's his mercy. You can't go over, but I am going to show you what I promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Who else in the Bible prayed for something to be removed or pray for something to stop? And the Lord said, my grace, 2 Corinthians 12, 7 through 10. At least I should exalt myself above measures through the abundance of the revelations. There was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to bust at me, least I should be exalted above measure for this day. I besought the Lord thrice that it may depart from me. He said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, now here, here's his change of mind now and response to what he currently prayed. Most greatly, therefore, I rather glory in my infirmity that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distress for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So we trying to be strong first. Because God, weakness, what I look like weak. I ain't know about weak. I ain't weak. Tell a man, tell a man he's weak. You have offended him. Right? Because that's the core of a man, his strength. So if the Lord isn't removing a particular thing from you, I suggest you have a different mindset. Right? That's one of my flagship scriptures right here. I said, what? Okay, you know, praying for healing, praying for this. You know, maybe that's my thorn. How are you going to serve me in constant pain? Hmm. Right? You're going to 
keep praying. You, I'm, if I, am I still your God? So I said, okay, Lord. <laughs> because when I'm weak, that's how I'm able to clean my house now. I'm still in pain. But when I'm weak, he, he shows through me in strength. Right? That's how I'm able to bathe on a weekly basis. Because I told my brother, there was a time, yo. <laughs> my husband will tell you. <laughs> I wasn't that clean. <laughs> it hurt. It literally hurt. What you say? It hurt? Yes, it hurt me. I wouldn't bathe until Mark was home because I didn't want to fall and be in the house by myself. I ain't cook. It hurts. I cook now. I got to sit on the stool. Does that mean I'm not in pain? No, it does not. But my mindset is different. And it's still changing. Okay. Changing never stop. Right? So Jesus comes. Right? Right? That flesh, it is not a one-time death, just so you know. Right? That renewing of the mind is just not a one-time. It renewing, I-N-G. Continual. It's not a one-time thing, yo. It's not a one size fit all. Give the Lord props in your pain. Give the Lord props when you're depressed. Give the Lord props when you're anxious. Give the Lord props when you're in anxiety. Give the Lord props when you're suffering from PTSD. Give it to him anyway. Anyway. In that, he is strong. <laughs> Your spirit man will respond when your when your natural man is weak. That's why it's important to strengthen that, that spiritual man. But then, no, we got people weak spiritually and naturally. As other possible, like, how are you going to pray for me and you just as bad as me? Child, I need somebody that's overcome <laughs> in this area than I am. Right? I love you absolutely love every one of you don't let shame stop you don't let pride stop you right don't 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 let don't give the enemy don't do it he has used us for tools long enough right let's not do that anymore let's be tired yes randy um pastor miller pastor miller Randy, go ahead. Well, what I wanted to say is that Brother Miller had a really good point, and, and I don't want him to put it away. So I'm <laughs> this is what I have to say. I want him to say what he had to say. Oh, I thought you had something. No, what about you? Oh, come okay. on, come on. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Dave. This I found that scripture is First Corinthians four. 15 is where Paul was, uh, I think, talking to Timothy, but it is a lot the same to the as the scripture in James. I was just reading through there. It's a lot the same. Well, what's the scripture, um, man? First Corinthians 4.15. Uh, For though we have 10,000 instructors in Christ, yet have ye not many fathers? For in Jesus Christ I have begotten you through the gospel. Copy that. I just want to throw that out there. And that Thank was 1 Corinthians 4? 15. Mark, did you have a question? Did you what? Did you have a question, sir? No, I did not have a question. Did I press the wrong button? Let's say you have a question, sir, or anything on your heart, ma'am. Uh, no, I just wanted to say that I appreciate the the prophecy or you know what you were saying in the beginning because that's why I was smiling because the Lord has been dealing with me a lot about like deception of the heart and uh, how man we just love lies and deceit and deception like we love it, you know yeah. what I mean. So we have to have like Jesus and the Holy Spirit to really like, you know, break us free and up, you know, and out of that. And and one of my prayers was to Lord to show me me. 
Amen. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to be a liar or deception of myself. You know what I mean? So when you were saying those things, and I kept nodding my head, because I'm like, yo, the Lord was dealing with me about that. Like, man, and that's what I've been praying about. You know what I mean? So, and exposing, you know what I'm saying? So I just, I just appreciated it. So I was never offended because anything I offend myself, because I tell the Lord to offend me, break me up, break me down, build me up, do what you got to do, Lord. Cause I, I'm not, I refuse to be a deceiver of myself. Jesus. I just refuse. So Amen. thank Amen. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Jackie, anything on your heart? No, all right, all right. And the M Millers, uh, did you, did y'all share all you wanted to share? Or this one, I came across this scripture with, with, um, with, um, with, uh, Carmelita, right, babe? Uh, oh, Let's say, let's say, forgive me, let's say. They don't even look like. <laughs> maybe you got, maybe you got Carmelita on your mind though. Maybe that's. I need to pray for. You know, and it talked about the same thing. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness. The scripture is that. Astonishment of hearts. That is in Deuteronomy. 28, and that is verse 28. Deuteronomy 28, 28. Yeah, correct. You know, because we we think God is a toy. God is not a toy. Never has been, never will be. You know, but it's our responsibility to show himself strong in us. So the Lord says right here, the Lord shall smite thee with madness. David, can you read the scripture in the Amplified and blindness? And yeah, it's, 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 yeah it's, it's pretty it's pretty simple, but just without it's not as it the Lord will smite you with madness and blindness and dismay of mind and heart. Uh, see, that's something. You know, we start playing around with the things of God, his mercy. His love. Yes, his mercies are new every day. And the love of God is unspeakable and unpassable. You know, and the mercies of God uh, are without our comprehension because we don't even know. We don't even, we can't even, we don't have the ability to comprehend his mercy. You know, well, let me tell you something. There's no short of God is and has the right to be angry because he created us. That's his right. And when we start defying his right, his right to glorify, his right to save, his right, his right to sanctify, and we turn our backs on that, and it's, they shall be with madness and, and, and blindness. Madness is the mind. I don't know if you will remember. My mom would talk about the mind being the focus point of where the enemy would attack us. And then with blindness, not necessarily that you are blind, that, but also your spirit is blind to the truth. Your spirit is blind to the truth. And you will not acknowledge that that is truth. You know? Mm -hmm. So I just wanted us to just stay above, keep our heads above water. Keep our heads above water. Just continually keep our heads above water. Amen. 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 You hitting that mute button. That that voice up now, yo. The, the, the mute button, Brother Rand. Thank you. Honestly, I just have one question that maybe you guys could pose for another Bible study or whatever. And it's one for deeper thought. We're listening. 
-hmm. The modern day Christ-like individual, um, Christian. Uh, I don't like the term. Uh, and the reason why I don't like the term, and Carol and I have talked about it, we've shared it, and I explained it to her deeply. I've shared it with my mother. Did Paul say he was a Christian or did he say he was a Jew? Anybody? He said he was a Jew. Ah, that's what he said. And the Bible said he wasn't just a Jew as one outwardly, but what? Inwardly. Why? Because of circumcision of the heart. Mm -hmm. Okay. Paul was one that advocated for everyone to try to live like him, right? Mm -hmm. But he knew everybody couldn't. Mm -hmm. So the Lord didn't necessarily speak. Jesus didn't come. God didn't come down. He said, I got permission from the Holy Spirit to say this stuff right here. Mm -hmm. He gives you a whole chapter about how the natural man deals in the natural world in trying to encompass living like Christ. Do you get that? Mm -hmm. And that whole chapter is dedicated to where so much so, and I don't care what you say, he that is married is of the things of the world, how he may please his wife. And he that is not married is of the things of the Lord, how he may go about pleasing the Lord. That's the balance. The balance is there's an understanding that there is so much more of a fight when we have to entertain our flesh. <laughs> all right, all right, do, do we get that or do I have to go deeper? No. So when, no, no. when I say entertain our flesh, Paul was a person that didn't need a wife. Paul was a person that need. Matter of fact, if we go back to the book of Acts, those men was about the work of the kingdom. They weren't even called Christians yet until the end of the book of Acts. We do know that, right? Mm -hmm. They were mm -hmm. called Christians by outsiders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So when I bring balance to our mindsets of why Christendom says that they are Christ-like or even have a mindset. Let me explain something to you about how dis disrespectful Jesus was. Jesus was the person that would disappear at 12 years old and say, I got to be about my father's business. You built like that? <laughs> he wasn't worried about the beating that he was going to get from Joseph. Are we that motivated? Mm. Bible said he had to learn obedience to the things that he suffered. Whoa. That tells me there was a lot of jealousy going on because his wisdom was far past Joseph in that Bible, who all he did was told a couple dreams. And he got thrown in a pit. Now, how do you think Joseph had to handle seeing this boy tell me I had to be about my father's business? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm. if Jesus... We, 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 we talk about Jesus. Carolyn, can I tell you, go give me some water. Did anybody like how I said that? Oh, I know her husband didn't like it. And I know Latte didn't like it. Any female on this line, that there was a burning sensation inside of them. Not me. Outside of, <laughs> outside of the husband. <laughs> like, what did he, wait, was that an exclamation point on there? <laughs> but then I will take you to John 4 because Freddie used a scripture in verse 26. But I would have loved if he had talked about that woman at the well. And you know what Jesus told that woman? Give me to drink. But say, would you give him a drink? Would you give him a drink today if he came and popped up to you and you didn't know he was Jesus? <laughs> Not if he said it that way. Right? <laughs> Right. <laughs> look, look, you said it quietly and then you made sure to reiterate. Oh no, I was on I was on mute. I was on I mute. Know, That's girl, why. I like the quiet version because we, we read the blitz. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was an emphatic modern day note. Okay. We understood that with no sound. Nonetheless, 
we got to understand that there are sensitivities that has been included in modern day that is not in inclusive for religion. It's not inclusive for the walk in Christ. We are too sensitive. And she mentioned easily offended. I can show you things in the scripture that will offend so many people, but you have to understand that as I, I, I try to explain to people that all of this is God's path for those who are chosen. Amen. Amen, sir. Amen. So whether we like it or not, or what well, I wasn't supposed to be raped, or what well, I wasn't supposed to be this, or, or, or my father shouldn't have did this, or, or I, I shouldn't have did that, I'm going to tell you I'm where I'm supposed to be. Amen. 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 So you want to keep complaining about it? You want to keep complaining about it? I'm going to go on anyhow. You talking good, sir. You want to remember my past? I'm going to go on anyhow. You talking good, sir. You are talking good. So while everybody's striving to be like Christ, when that man cuts us off on the road, I ain't doing nothing Christ-like. You better talk. <laughs> you yet I want to say I'm a Christian. He talking. That prefix is Christ, sin is like. How about we just say we followers? Paul wasn't being disrespectful when he said, follow me as I as follow I. Christ. Yeah. Some people yeah. would say that's blasphemy. <laughs> Why? The greatest of all the apostles. He had to check Peter, too. Peter used yeah. to carry a knife. He probably still had a knife. <laughs> right. <laughs> Y'all want to that this dude wasn't it cussing. Was and Jesus said, I'm going to build my church on him. You tell me Jesus didn't know this dude was carrying a knife? I need him to cut that man's arrow so I can pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, y'all wow. want to act like Jesus didn't know Peter would carry that. a knife? Never thought about that like that. The so. glory of God. I stay two more days so Lazarus can die so I can make these people see something. Wow. That's good. That's I carry good. a little longer because that's it ain't what goodness. you want me to do. That's good, sir. But oh, that's it ain't God. Good. That's not God. That's not God. Well, God moving on our time now? <laughs> you say it's something, sir. Wow. So we got to re-justify. Let me tell you something. If God gave you a spiritual name, he gave you a spiritual name for you to adopt and adapt to your spiritual name. He said, greater works will you do. Be better. That's correct, sir. That you going to be, <laughs> yeah, you can be, you going to be greater than your master? No. Is this better for you, the servant to be like? His master. That's correct. But he said, greater words than you're supposed to do. But I need y'all to go wait over here real quick. Harry, wait. I need to learn some things. Because mm -hmm. why? I need my Holy Spirit to come teach you something, to lead you and guide you into something. Yeah. But yeah. then there's growth, though. There isn't just a mindset of a understanding in which right. I got it. Right. If oh, I wow. can say this is the biggest onion ever and we're still peeling. Amen. The Bible says, great is the mysteries of godliness. The Bible says, it is unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Yeah. The Bible starts off with Proverbs saying, truths, amplify, obscurely known, maxims, parables. These things are obscure. This is not something we just pick up and open up. Oh, we got it. Oh, you just got to do this. No, it's a walk. Yes, your brother sir. might have seen your night 491 times. Then what? Is he no longer saved? Or did the Bible call him just still? But a person mm -hmm. I want to put on and say he's not saved, God is calling just. But you're going to tell me that Lot wasn't just because he slept with his daughters? <laughs> but, the, but the Bible called him just. The Bible did. The Bible called him just. <laughs> David act like a crazy man. He lived with the Philistines for over a year. He was about to go kill the boy's wife. I mean the ball. Hey, come on. David had to repent to God for that. And God still gave him the ball's wife. And wait, let's not remember. Let's not forget he wasn't even king yet. And he was living in a cave. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. want to act like, oh, these gifts that God gives, these strange things. Can we literally accept these strange truths? Or are we saying everyone's walk is patterned by the same walk? 
I thought Joseph had a different walk. I thought Abram had a different walk. Mm -hmm. And he definitely had a different one from Lot. <laughs> Boy, uh, he had a different walk. Uh, uh, David, whoa, nobody saw him coming because he was, nobody was looking for him. Ain't nobody give him a coat of many colors. He was the one that had to be <laughs> shepherd. Right. You feel me? He the one that everybody overlooked. And I got to fight a bear and a lion and nobody knows. But I'm going to keep it to myself. In private. That's correct. Wow. Sometimes it's about being silent, humble, and battle ready. You talking, sir? Battle ready just means you played a whole lot of drills. It doesn't mean you're battle tested. Why? Oh, say that again, sir. Ah, battle ready is the difference between battle tested. Wow. That's you got guys good. on here that have literally been through, ladies on here that have been through. That's good. That's good. Real battle. It's a difference. We got readiness drills. Freddie will tell you that. He'll tell you that. She'll tell you that. There's readiness drills. But when you're in it, you get refined by the fire. Mm, that's good, sir. Because you come out on the other side with a whole different mindset. Yep. So now I'm in a new season as I started off of transparency, transparency, honesty, truth, taking off the mask. That's good, sir. That's good. That's real good, sir. That's real good. That's meat right there. Battle rap. Wow. See, I wish I would have been in the military, man, because that that's deep. That's that's good, sir. That's good. I think the only person he's been in the sorry. military is me. Think about it, Carol. Do you know how deep it was for God to trust that Job would not give up on him? And remember, I said to you, Job didn't even know he was perfect. Mm -hmm. He didn't know it, but God knew he was perfect. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. wasn't running around here saying, I'm perfect. I'm perfect. I do this everything right now. Her adventure is this. Her adventure is that. Oh, man, I'm going to make sure. <laughs> no, he didn't know. <laughs> he wasn't worried about, no, nah, I'm just going to make sure I pray for my kids. I'm going to make sure I pray for my wife. I'm going to make sure I pray for this. I'm going to make sure I pray for that. And I'm not going to be extra. I'm going to make sure I give over here. I'm going to make sure I give to these people over here. Why is it hard? And we call ourselves Christians and not one of us can give to poor people. Wow. But we want to judge that. We, we want to measure that. For real? That's the Holy Spirit talking? <laughs> Come on, man. That ain't Christ. Christ was sitting them down by 5,000 and 10,000 and breaking bread and saying, God, I'm going to believe that you're going to shut this. Mm. And he didn't care if they was following him for the loaves and the fishes. That's mm -hmm. our problem. If we get rid of the offense, easily offended, easily offended, he told Samuel, stop crying, man. They didn't reject you. They rejected they you. Me. Right. But did God give up on his people? No. He just said, I'm going to discipline them a little bit. Go tell them what a king going to do, though. He's going to take your daughters, your wives, your land. Your oh, sons. Mm -hmm. He's going to do some disrespectful stuff because y'all don't want me. Mm. Let's not act like God isn't sending savior after savior after savior. Obadiah, Savior shall arise and shall judge the Mount of Esau. Mm. That's with an S. Jesus. Dispensation after dispensation after dispensation. He's bringing saviors. We act like Paul is the last one to write 13 epistles. Like that's so great. I'm telling you, where are those that's willing to be written and read of all men? <laughs> Wow. Why? That means you're transparent. That means I can read you. Yeah, you're not closed. You ain't hiding. <laughs> that means I can read you. That means there's a consistency in the chapter. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, a flip. No. Wow. Wow. That's the realness. As men, I'm going to tell you, as men, refocus from Genesis why God said the ground was cursed. He said, the ground is cursed because of you. At the end of the day, you said he blamed Eve. Okay, I said, well, he blamed both. He can blame whoever he wanted to blame. The ground is under a curse because we keep listening to who we're not supposed to listen to. 
Mm, that's good. Again, follow where the authority was set. Follow where God leads. If we go against the commandment, Jeez. his command. And only reason what made me say this, because I believe, who was it just this gave us Deuteronomy 28? Was it my mother or Randy? Was my mother? Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. Well, I scrolled all the way up. I like to read things in context. Because I want to understand if, if a scripture is going to be said and it's in the middle, why was he saying it? For what purpose? So when I go to verse one, I love what it says again in the Amplified. If you, four first words, if you will listen. Mm. If. All of this is predicated, all these rules, all these, all this stuff, these laws, these, these ways. Look, God said a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm gonna tell you something. He said, if you delight yourself in me, I will give you your desires. Now I'm going to bring some balance to you. Then we can drop the mic. Most will probably say that Solomon wasn't supposed to have all those wives. And I'm going to tell you what the Lord told me. Solomon offered a whole bunch of sacrifices. He did something no one in history had done before. God sent him because his prayer was so simple, so humble, and so Godlike that God yeah. said the things you didn't ask me for, I'm going to give you above and beyond. Who gave him all those women? My question was, was it his job to turn his heart away from God? You see the difference? What did he tell David? If you wanted more, I would have gave you some. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to embarrass me with killing that man and you're supposed to be hey man up yo how much you want for her bro i did hmm. wrong i'm not gonna try to get you to sleep with her i'm not gonna try to get you drunk i'm not gonna try to do all of this now i gotta set you up for murder you see what lust does when lust have conceived it brings forth sin sin when it's finished it brings forth death it is only going to go one way how will we acknowledge our lust jesus I don't care if it's food. I don't care if it's this. I don't care if it's that. How will we acknowledge it? Will we just say like David, have mercy on me, oh God, according to your loving kindness. I'm always at fault. Like Lete just said. Sometimes you got to look at me. All the time. <laughs> Every day. You know, so that, that the rubber meets the road where the balance is understanding that God is not the big bat monster we believe him to be. Amen to that. God could have killed Cain and he didn't. He marked him, which was mercy for 900 and something years that nobody was allowed to kill this dude. And he found a wife. Man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. <laughs> Obtains favor. God might have cursed him. He ain't cursed his wife. So I bet he put his wife to work. <laughs> I bet he did. Oh, right, go ahead, Mr. Mark. I keep pushing the wrong button. Sorry about that. Good Lord, sir. What you what button you trying to push? I'm going hey, to So was I. <laughs> Mark, you go ahead, man. I know you oh, got some. Go ahead. I know you got some. He on, does. Baby. Yeah, and I wish he wouldn't be um uh, scared or nervous. He just you are amongst family, nobody's gonna judge you. Exactly. No, judge I just listened to everything that was said and the word and it's just a lot of things said it just I've gone through myself, so mm. it's nice to hear other people, you know, going through the same things I'm going through and and their insights and how they take care of it. I just appreciate that. That's what we're doing. I love for. you guys. Yep. <laughs> Send those hearts. Thank Send you. those hearts. <laughs> no, I, I mean that. And I mean, I must, I'm Justin, but I, I, know. I, mean I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I mean that for real, sir. I mean that for real. And let me tell you, this is family. And 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 family, they're ugly things, and there's beautiful things. You know what I'm saying? But we, and, and, and there's a thing called forgiveness. And, it's, so and we love each other. Again, so. I don't think nobody's offended nobody here 491 <laughs> times. 
I'm going. I'm. I got credit. I got credit. You hear me, Jatay? You hear me, Mark? <laughs> I'm gonna start my tab on you, Mark. You, 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 might, you might want to ask your brother over here. You know? That's right. I thought you said he was the accountant. Hey, that's fifty percent interest. <laughs> oh, interest now, all day. Oh, the Bible says we're not supposed to get interest from my brother, though. Now, now you want interest? Is that I pay your debts? Hey, that that, that that's marked up. That 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 markup, I can find that scripture in Proverbs that says uh, Jesus, not to take more Jesus, than what, what, what you should. <laughs> oh no! Well, that's that's an unnecessary markup. You, you're covered here, Mark. <laughs> you are definitely covered here, and everyone's covered here. If you want, if you don't want to be, that's your choice. But you are covered here. You will be prayed for and covered here. Amen. Amen. Ain't no there's, no, there's no there's no separation Me. in sin. There's no color that separates sin. There's nothing that separates sin. Nope. We are all faced with it. All have sin and come short. And no one, I have no fingers to point. None. No fingers to point. <laughs> they back at me. I got none. None. And so we we need we need a company of believers to sharpen one another. You know, and like soldier. Uh, so, uh, but we got to get rid of that shame. We got to get rid of that shame. So what? You did so and so. Yeah. Well, I did so and so too. I mean, we all could write a book about all the so-and-sos we've done. <laughs> right? Okay. Don't know what value will be bigger. It don't matter because there's no competition. Okay. Like, like David said, like he said, we all <laughs> can write a book. So. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yes, Fred. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, Aunt Jackie, did you have something before I go? I know you have something, Aunt Jackie. Oh, I just wanted to say that I appreciate everything that everyone has said today. It has really hit home with me, and I am not offended by nothing nobody said. I am taking everything to heart and praying on it and praying through it and praying with it, and it's helping me to grow. I thank you, each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Love you too. I give it back Man. to you, Fred. Hey, Man. Fred. Yes, sir. You, you, you might want to. I might want to have to use my un, my forgiveness tits on you right now, because. Oh Lord. You, what? Did Did somebody steal your top lip? No. Why? What's wrong with it? Oh, uh, why you go there, Doug? Why like you go there? He always has to. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, like you got no your, time. Somebody's taking an African American away from you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, you know, That's you know, love. Like, <laughs> That's love right there. That's love, man. Right there. That's love, man. <laughs> I'm like, is that Gabrielle Union's brother or something? Oh, oh dang. Uh, why are you bad? Hey, hey, don't hey, that his ash ashy. You better put some lotion on. Well, I gotta stop <laughs> licking. But he's full though up there. You see him? You see him? He's there. I, I'm yeah, I can't get rid of him. Yo, no, well, we do need to keep some, uh, you know, Vaseline or something, because we know better. We know, know. better. Okay, okay, so okay. Ash for real good. Or not, or, or oh, look, look, looking like old dude off of New York undercover. What's <laughs> <laughs> the worst? See? He was bad. Hey, Somebody hey, but for real. But sis. It's mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I go for Ashy Larry every now and then, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. But I was watching. Yeah, but for, I was watching a um, uh, I was watching a podcast uh, by um, uh, what's his name, Israel, uh, gentleman. Uh, he's dynamic. His name is uh, Israel. Uh, he's talking about an ex ex witch, uh, witch who gave herself to the Lord, and uh, she gave her testimony. Oh Lord, she gave her testimony, and her testimony was dynamic. 
Who put you on to him, Curtis? Oh, no, no. I just went ahead and watched it. You know, the Lord said, hey, watch this. So I went ahead and watched it. He was Spanish? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Israel, he's Spanish. From West, from the West Coast? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He used to be in the gang. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I seen it. Yeah. And the and the uh, lady, she was um, she was an ex witch, and she was into all types of demonic stuff. Oh my oh, goodness! Hey. I'm talking about the female, the the female who who the Lord saved. I mean, into all type of blood sacrifice, uh, putting blood upon her body, and 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 all type of blood rituals, and and baby rituals and all types of stuff, you know, but the Lord saved her so beautifully out of it, you know? And I said, wow, Lord, your grace and your mercy is so sufficient Amen. that, I mean, you can save us, you know, and I, and I, and I look back as far as the places and where I was, where I've been, right. And, you know, where the Lord is taking me out of, you know, and the Lord took her out of that. I tell you, the Lord's grace is so sufficient. He is so wonderful, you know. And if he can forgive, forgive that, the Lord can forgive anything. You know? the truth. Lord can forgive anything. We, you know? We're the ones that just tend to harp instead That's of praying. It. That's we, it. we need to honestly pray more. Pray without ceasing. That's you right. know, we need to uh, take our mouth off a of situation sometimes and give it to the Lord. Amen. You know, there are times the Lord will have you confront a situation. And then there are most times where it's quiet. It handled in private. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. That's wisdom, sir. That's good. Amen. Amen. Looking up, trying to look up his name now. Does his last name begin with an S? Yeah, Isaiah Salvador. Yep, I, I watched that too. I yeah. watched that. Yeah, Isaiah man, eight, man. His story is his story is even yeah. more crazy because he was in the he was a witch like he was in the witchcraft himself. He was into yep. He was a warlock. Yeah, like right. He was a warlock. Like his story. Like he was a, like telling me like how he came and the stuff he did. He was putting stuff on people for October and yep. for a whole month and all that stuff because mm -hmm. that's when it starts and. Astro pro, astro projection yeah. out of his body and placing <laughs> curses on people through astro awesome. projection. God save him. Yes. It, it's us that think that we it, he listen. One thing you cannot be saved from is blasphemy yes, against the Holy Spirit. The oh, Holy Spirit. Spirit. That's mm -hmm. right. So we come at those homosexuals or whatever, but they're not even on the seven list of abominations that God highly hates. <laughs> and yet, I want to run around here with my proud look and want to point fingers at the homosexual because I'm not gay. Mm -hmm. Amen, sir. Amen, sir. How about I'm unbalanced, which is abomination. That is. We running around being abominable, but we don't know why. Mm -hmm. But we going on anyhow. Well, you know what uh, being unbalanced is? is Here you go. If you want to merge an Old Testament scripture with a New Testament, and we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect has come, then all that stuff that's in part will be done away. Mm -hmm. If it's in part, Mr. or Mrs., does it mean it's right? Is it all pure? Are we giving it out of a pure spirit? If a pure spirit can never give anything in part, think about it. A pure spirit cannot give anything in part. So it goes back to our inclinations. When it says, I will keep your mind, your inclinations, your process, your heart, your whole motivation. So then if somebody's questioning me about my interior, my motives, if I gave it to you, I did it from the heart. Not because I wanted you to stroke me. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, a lot of mm -hmm. people want praise. They want to be stroked. They want their, I'm doctor. What? Call me professor. What? Let me tell you something. I'm learning like you. We all in a private practice, practicing how to live every day. The so, right. <laughs> private practice. I like that. That's a private practice. <laughs> I like that. I, I can't live for you. Sure, sure. Nope. I can't do it for you. And you can't nope. do it for me. And like you said, 
when you go up there, you got to answer for your own self. So I hope at least you produced some 30 or some 60 or some 100. Wow. Those are those who understood, comprehended, grasped, and then produced something. Which mm -hmm. is why, why he was so mad at the one who had one talent and he buried the one. There was no props to the one that had four or five or two. No props. You're supposed to do what you're supposed to do. But the one that had one, why would it say that he was cast into outer darkness? Hmm. We Just wasting time will get us in trouble. That's why a just man falls because he's just because he's so smart that I will never stay down. Amen. I will never stay down and I'm not going to let nobody else keep me down. Wow. So if I got call somebody or, or get up in the middle of the night or do this or whatever to stay sane. Got to do. That's that way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Wow. Three part tempt mercy. There's no temptation taking you such as is common to man. But here's that but. God is faithful in ourselves for you to be tempted above that you're able. But will with that temptation also make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. So whether somebody say, oh, you could have made it. Oh, you could have did it. Well, God said, I got you. Right. Try this one. Oh, that's too much. Watch. I'm about to miraculously make a whole path. For you to walk through the crowd like Jesus did through the midst. Uh, couldn't touch me. Can't touch this. Uh. <laughs> Walking through the crowd. And it wasn't his time. Hello. Oh, that was Jesus walked, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> In the day, he's like, what? Stop. To do an amber time. <laughs> like, like he walking through every time I see. Y'all trying to get me. I walk right through. Come on, let's not act like God ain't got no humor, man. He's vicious. He cares about the hairs, the missing hairs on my head. Mm -hmm. he, we not as uptight as we are, man. There's a sex book in the Bible. Do y'all know that? Song yeah. of Solomon. He care about that. sex book. He care about that upper lip, too. Why do you think? Yeah, not yours. <laughs> you, you might kill somebody with that. Yeah. <laughs> we, will, we might have to file charges if I hear. I don't know. You know, they might be abuse comes in all different ways, Fred. You know, you might need to get injections. You wow. oh, that's okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> get some cosmetic work. Oh Lord. Wow. Come on, mom. Take the mute off. Take the mute off. See, see, see. Oh, That's some brotherly love right there. If you if you can't pick on your family, you can't pick on nobody. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we all military. He know better. Hey, hey, no yep. better. All right, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Miller. Yes, I'm right there with you. I was oh, Mark, you was military. Yes. Yes. Huh? Right there with you. Thank you for your service. Uh, uh, Go ahead, mommy. Um, I wanted to hear uh, what the Lord gave Frederick to close out. I don't want to miss that. Didn't your sister ask you to son? Hey, mom. Yeah, I gave, I gave it already, mom. You gave it over to the Lord? Mm-hmm. Did you give it over to? No, no, I, I gave it. I spoke, spoke on it, mom. I think it was when you were absent from the room, man. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Well, you know, I want to tell y'all that um, there's nobody here that's not my baby. You know what I mean? Um, far as I'm concerned, I'm talking to all my children. When I say, I love you all. And because I love you all, it hurts more when things happen within my family. So let me tell you a little bit of my testimony. I got all dressed. Now I'm I'm really hot and, and, and 
I had the wherewithal to get totally dressed, sit down on the bed, totally dressed, and fuss a while. After I finished the room, I got back up, decided I brushed my teeth, washed my face, and again prepared to go downstairs. That is what I did. But the only change is I went back and I sat down and I fussed some more. And by the time my husband came upstairs, I was talking to him and I said, you know what, I there's something wrong here. My spirit is too upset. There's something wrong. Now, the thing that I'm wanting you to know, because we have been talking about prayer and then I'm going to let everybody go, is that when you have prayed to the point that you have made a covenant between you and God in your prayer, is that covenant he has not changed, is the same, and he can speak to you and show you and manifest through you the things that you need on pray through because you are not strong enough yet to pray this part for yourself. So something else is necessary. So I said, okay, Lord. And I did, I did just that. And then I was ready to get up and go. And I remained sitting. And before I know it, the desire to want to go to do this thing had left me. And I said to my husband, I said, you know what? I think it has left me because now my spirit is calm. There's no more. I can hurry up. I gotta hurry up. I gotta get in there. Because one, one or two things that happened in a car wreck, simply because my emotions were totally gone everywhere. And two, I could injure someone for life. These two things. Listening to the Holy Spirit, even passing past that emotional state, I was able to hear, sit down. And I did that. And then what was brought back to my memory is the other week, the Lord had me to do just that. And that day was called that day. Being what I mean by that is that I was to sit down and I was to be still. Because, you know, even as a homemaker, we fall short of knowing that God sees us. We are not insignificant because of what we do. We're not insignificant because of our not going out and about and manual labor. We are not insignificant because um, no one may visit us that day, or the next day, or the next day. God has such a mind that they would obey Him. When you think about it, the only thing that I had was to really obey God. So I stood still. And then he went off, I could look at like pitch, and you know, I said, we had my husband prepared our home for the next phase of the evening. And then it was a day in my past. But here it is this day. And I don't see any means or why somebody would tell me to sit still when I need to take care of this. But in the quietness of the Spirit of God, He showed me what I had did. He showed me that I prepared a day of being still just for this day. And I had no idea. Because I would not have added anything good to what was going on. I would not have been a source of strength to what was going on. But I would have had any emotions. And that was wrong. And God was showing me, was able to show me this when I stopped. The next thing was to go out to the car and get going. But I stopped and I was able to sit down and he was able to reveal to me what I needed to do. Not what I needed to do for somebody else. Not what I needed somebody else to do. I 
needed to hear what I did, and he showed me. And this doesn't mean much to too to, to many people. You might not even understand what I said. But our salvation has so much to do with someone else and how we obey God than it does how we obey God personally. Mm-hmm. Our salvation is not, it is a personal thing that happened in our life. We made that decision. But to do the works of Christ, it means to extend out of the realm of your salvation and being the server. What does the servant do? What does the servant do? He served everyone in the house. And that's what God needed me to do. He needed me to be a server. A server that will pray. A servant take a breath, a server that will be still and know. And I had to fulfill all of those, all those orders in a moment's time. And so I want to remember, remember the other day when I told you to be still and to be quiet? That was the hardest day of my life, not to walk around the house, not to not to pick up my, my meal or not to pick up my sewing and do something. That was the hardest day to be still and to be quiet. So I tell you, people of God, what you may think is simple, what you may think is easy, what you think have you to do, what you think is nonsense. It's not nonsense. But the whole thing is obedient. Are you willing to obey? To what level are you willing to obey? Are you willing to obey? I'm sorry, Mom. You're, you're speaking very low and it's it's whatever your microphone is doing, it's, it's really combative with your tone. And I don't know if it's where you guys have your, your microphone or just device yeah. sitting or if it's maybe you should go above ground. I don't know if you guys are in the basement. Whatever's going on, you're getting a horrible feedback. You got the feedback. The only way I'll be able to learn, listen is to, uh, I did, did the caption. It's still it's still a little fuzzy with the caption, but I can still actually read what she's saying, though. Oh, you can, you got a caption? You can do caption? Yeah, there's a button. <laughs> I, I, I just keep pushing buttons. That's, that's why I got in trouble the first time. I kept pushing buttons. I pushed the wrong button now. I pushed the right button. That's the three three uh, dots. If nothing else, all I said, I guess that is really this is just thing to obey the voice of God. Regardless of what you may think, you must do whatever you think you must whatever you think you must apply yourself first apply yourself to the obedience of god amen amen daughter did you hear anything or were you also the same as others hey carol you're on mute Did oh, you yeah. figure it out, David? About the, I did. I, 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 when you said, hey, Carol, you're on mute, I'm like, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yep. Mom, it was difficult to hear you. Um, It was a lot of static, and it kept going in and out. So at times, you were, like, really clear, and then most of the time, it was just the static, the static, the static. But, um, yeah, I don't know if, if it's um the mic or, or, or what, but every time you mute, the static does mm-hmm. stop. Yep. So even, I think even, your phone, I don't know. Even when even when we're reading the caption, it, it would go in and out when the f- microphone went in and out. So it was kind of weird. Well, are so you I guys about to end? Things. You guys about to end? Yes, sir, we are. Can I read the scripture? Sure. This is Isaiah 61. This is the Amplified Classic. 
It says, arise from the depression and prostration in which circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new life. Time. Be radiant with the glory of the Lord. For your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Mm, that's good. You know, we don't talk more about our our behavioral health issues. If we all suffer from PTSD, which we do, and I get a check for it. Can't speak for y'all. <laughs> but we all are undiagnosed or diagnosed <laughs> with post-traumatic stress. Right. You get into a car accident, all of a sudden, you don't want to do this because I was in this accident over here. That's a post-traumatic stress. I was sexually assaulted. That's a post-traumatic stress. I'm telling you, we all have it. Arise from the depression and prostration. So, as I explained to Frederick, prostrating migraines means you're laying down on a cold floor in the dark. That's what that means prostrating. So if you're laying down and depressed due to circumstances that have kept you, rise now to a new life. Amen. Dine. B is a commandment. The word by itself is a command. B. Mm -hmm. Be radiant. Mm. That means there's an action word. It's for something for you to do. <laughs> It's a, per, a, perpetu a perpetual state of being, radiance, radiant, shining. So the sun, you could use to say it's radiant. Why? Because it's so, it's, 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 you can't change its illumination. And boy, if you guys get into that book of Enoch, oh my goodness, it will blow your mind. I'm reading it. Yes. Oh, it will blow your mind. Listen. I'm on like number chapter 60, 40, 60. Listen. Girl, I'm at 80. I couldn't put it, I couldn't put it down. Listen, I know you just got finished reading how you broke down the, the sun, the moon, the stars, how they come up, how the earth is like yo. He foretold the whole end. He talked about it. Do you know the Garden of Eden, the tree of dude, life? Dude, dude, everybody earth? ain't read it. Come I'm on sorry. now. <laughs> Come <sorry>. on now. <laughs> I'm asking not to do that. <laughs> like, like, yo, like, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't Ruin worry. Listen, other people. So we need to do a study too. We got, we got it. We got to get deep because it, it will connect you into Genesis and especially in the Jasher. Got to do that. Got to do that. We cannot say it says too much is given, much is required. So we, we when we come to these accountabilities, God has given us and learning. We are required to build upon it, not become stagnant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Trust me, we'll never get to the center of the onion. <laughs> How many licks does it take to get to the center of the Tootsie Roll? Three. <laughs> <laughs> you cheating. Grunch. Well, that, I remember that commercial. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that commercial now. You, you asked the question, I gave an answer. That's yes, right. Well, the, oh, there you go. Yes, we you only did. wish we only wish it was easy to get to those mysteries like that, but you wouldn't want it if it was that easy. Okay, no. it wasn't worth nothing. <laughs> Gotta think nothing. about that. We don't want no man want no easy woman. Let's keep it real. And no woman want nope. no easy man. Period. I, I mean. if you want somebody. Oh, you want somebody that's king like. If you want a woman, I want a queen. Mm -hmm, I don't want mm -hmm. a servant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello, do people understand that title of queen? You want to go look up the definition? <laughs> There's a clear distinction between the two. Mm -hmm. Amen, sir. I'm done, sis. <laughs> Fred, I give it back to you, sir, to uh, pray us out. <laughs> if you're still here. I think he might have went in and out. His computer probably hey, can there he is. Can everybody there he is. Okay, looking at yep. this? Okay. 
Now we see you. Amen, amen, amen. Lord, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for sanctifying our hearts and our minds. We thank you, Lord, for causing us to be honest with ourselves, causing us to hear your truth, causing us to worship you in spirit and in truth, because you seek such to worship you. Lord, give us, creating us a clean heart and renewing us a right spirit. Cause us to acknowledge our sins, to acknowledge our sins, our wrongdoings. Cause us not to hide our sins in our hearts, Lord. Cause us not to cover our sins right. as Adam by hiding our transgressions in our bosom. Right. But cause us to confess, cause us to forsake, cause us to let go of those things in our hearts and in our minds that are not of you, those things that are keeping us held down, those secret faults, those presumptuous sins, those things that are causing us not to be honest with ourselves and with you. Oh, Lord, cleanse us. Forgive us for, for the sins that we have done. Forgive us for these things. Forgive us for holding on to those things that are not of you. Cause us to let go and to relinquish ourselves in totality unto you. Oh, Lord, we need you, Jesus. And we love you with our whole hearts. Oh, Rabbi, you said to love the Lord thy God with all your heart, your soul, your mind, your strength. But this is the first commandment. You said the second is like unto namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Yes. Oh Lord, teach us to love you. Teach us to love one another. Teach us, oh Lord, renewing us. Oh, creating us a clean heart, renewing us a right spirit. Oh, cause us to acknowledge our sins, acknowledge our transgressions. Oh Lord, we thank you, Father. Cause us to teach us to delight ourselves in you, and you will give us the desires of our heart. Teach us to walk upright before you. Lord, we thank you. You said you are a holy God. You desire us to be holy as you are holy. Lord, you said for us to not to be conformed to this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of our minds transform and renew our minds lord calls us to let go of the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to deceitful lust but renew us in the spirit of our minds oh we thank you for it lord we worship you for it we ask you for it lord with a pure heart with a whole heart we ask you for it lord god to renew us to sanctify us, to deliver us. We ask for deliverance from everything that's not of you, everything that's keeping us bound. Oh, deliver our hearts and give us a desire to want your deliverance. Give us a desire to want to let go of things that are not of you. Cause us to walk upright before you, Father. I speak healing into your people. I speak healing upon your people's bodies. I speak healing by the power of the Holy Spirit. Healing upon shoulders. Healing upon knees. Healing upon ankles. Healing upon minds. I speak healing power by the power of the Holy Spirit. Cause us to build each other up on our most holy faith. Praying of the Holy Ghost. Oh, I speak deliverance. Deliverance from sin, deliverance from everything, from, from, from depression, Lord, from guilt. We speak deliverance by the power of the Holy Spirit and cause us to claim it, cause us to walk in it. We thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, cause us to humble ourselves. Teach us to humble ourselves, to receive the engrafted word with meekness, which is able to save our souls. But cause us not to just be hidden for the word, but cause us to be doers. Oh, Rabbi, not just hearers only, but doers of the word. Oh, we thank you for it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We claim it done and protect us. Let no harm and danger come upon us. Lord, we give you all the glory, the honor, and the praises that are due to your name because you are God and there is none other. We give you all the glory, Lord. 
for everything that you've done. We claim it done in Jesus' name. And we say amen. 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 All right, everybody. I love you. I love you too. Link to you guys. Love your family. Did anybody hear me? That's mom. Yeah. That's mom. Bye, mom. Bye, Fred. Bye, Bye, Bye Dave. Love you, man. Bye, 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 Hey, hey, Fred, I'm going to send you that bow tie, buddy. I got you. Oh, oh man. Wrong, man. Hey, 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 you better send your, you better send your brother that lip, that lip flow. You want some? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to send it first class. I'll send it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will drive before that post comes. Uh, the Sabbath, the Sabbath over. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, man. I love you, Dave. Hey, hey, do you, do you think you want some Carmax or you want some? Oh. What, what? Oh. Hey, 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 hit me up. Call me, man. Ding, 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 ding. Love y'all. Ain't nothing but love. I was always the torturous little brother, so it is what it is. That's true. That, that, that's not no lie. That is no lie. Whoa. <laughs> I was. Hey, Dave, hit me up, man. I love you, man. Hit me up. Call me. Hey, y- y'all, y'all be blessed. Fred, I holler at you. All right. Love you. You're the there. only one here. <laughs> That's us. Oh, it only says we're the only one here. <laughs> well, love you, but he's gone. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nothing like loving. Love you, but we're no, it says, I'm, no, it does say Jacqueline and Sylvan Styles left. Jackie is still there. Oh, so then does that mean who's still there? I don't know. Then why don't we push that little thing up there? Keratin left. He stopped. The day stopped. The day is last. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, there they are. Who is this? Us. You. Uh, this is pathetic. <laughs> I don't even know me when I see me. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So have you tasted these little things here? Mm, let's see what they taste like. Yeah, they're good. Or else it's not goat cheese. 